Introducing the Smelly's Fragrance Reviews with the international leader of the worldwide fragrance community, Mr. Smelly 1977. <laughs> we're back we're live it's thursday night classic fragrance lounge live classic fragrance lounge live how are you doing guys in the community welcome back to the show excited tonight we're going to talk about we're actually going to determine definitively once and for all the top 10 classic chanel fragrances of all time not not the top 10 chanel's top 10 classic we'll describe what a classic fragrance is in a minute we need to define our terms right that's another matter. I'm really a bit feisty tonight, so I wouldn't try anything on in the chat. Otherwise, it'd probably be the last comment you make, so don't mess. Okay, guys, let's say hello to all of our wonderful people in the community, guys. Here we go. Um, we've got peeping time with a pointless thumbs up symbol. All right, nice. I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. Um, I'm joking. Thanks. Ah, Kevin Chunks with a great bit of input here. A fabulous vintage Chanel from 1984 is the amazing Nugan. I must have missed that one. Truly one of the best fragrances they released in that decade. My great friend and top musician, James Blunt, has a bottle. <laughs> Somehow I've never heard of that one. Uh, fantastic. I'd love to hear more about it. Thank you for lovely input there, though, from the fantastic Dr. Belovich. Great part of the community. Here we go. Platinum Egoist, baby. Will that, uh, that definitely counts as the right era. It's the right era. Will it be considered a classic? Or that's, it's, it's, it's classic in that it's made... A long time ago, 1993. Uh, some people don't like that one. I'm going to talk about it. We're definitely going to consider that one. Will it make the top 10? Great to see JJ Colburn. He's going to be joining us in about 20 minutes or so. Fantastic part of the show. And uh, guys, hello, JJ. I'm a huge admirer of, admirer of you, says Dr. Ronald Shoestring. I think you have a nice smile. And I, I get you can dance well to Michael Jackson songs. Thank you so much to Dr. Ronald Shoestring there. Great comment there. And um, we've got M Melissa Villanueva. Melissa Villanueva has come. What is wrong with this camera? I mean, what, what is wrong? Uh, Melissa Villanueva, nice to see you here. She says hello to uh, Dan, Matt, JJ, and everybody. Great to see you guys in the room here. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit us with the first super chat. So I desperately need super chats. It's very hard to try and make a full day's pay for a quick... Um, <laughs> A quick night's work. I've just Dr. Ronald Shoestring. You probably shouldn't say that in the chat. That was quite funny though, but I, I don't approve of that. Uh, okay, feisty cat, feisty Dan, bring it on. I'm in a bad. No, I'm not in a bad mood. I'm just in a very aggressive in a good way mood. Like I've got extra testosterone. Not that I've been rubbing anything on lower parts of my body. Okay, just just to get that straight. Mr. Smelly is all class. Says Puggy Feinstein. Thank you so much. For a great comment there, really appreciate that uh, super uh, super comment. Speaking of which, give us a super chat, guys. Hello, Mr. Smelly, says Daniel Medina. Thank you. Nice to see you here. But Alex from the Perfume Temple is here. Great to see you in the chat there. And uh, the exclusives are classics to me. Well, I think we're going to have to discuss that because it I, I, what I'm talking about, classic, we, we are in the classic or AKA almost semi-vintage fragrance lounge. We could have a bit of a fight tonight. It could kick off. I can see there being issues over the definition of classicness. Uh, but we'll, we'll see what we, yeah, we'll see what we think. Yeah, I mean, there are some with a classic vibe. You've got to be honest there. Uh, so, I th I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not uh, I'm not a pedant. I'm many things, but a pedant is not one. So I'm up for, uh, you know, including whatever's good. But let's see what happens, guys. Hit me with this first super chat of the night. I've got 49 people in the room. Time for me to get a little solo spot on my own and talk a bit of nonsense, you know. How was your day? What were you up to? If you've got a drink of the night, let me know. I'm, I'm on the water tonight because I stay sober 
on a Thursday, at least when I'm on camera. The rest of it, you don't know about. But that's, that's another matter. That's another. That's between me and the good Lord above. Roja Parfum's Scandal is my fragrance of the night. I should have worn a Chanel, but I do as I please. Okay, it's my channel. I'll do what I want. I'll do what I like. Okay, I don't have to play by your rules. And I've got Scandal Parfum Pour On. People say this house is overpriced. Smells bloody good, though. It's an amazing fragrance. Don't taste that good. I've got some on my tongue. It's an amazing fragrance. Uh, I really, really love this fragrance. Something's seriously wrong with this goddamn camera, and I'm very angry about it. Uh, it's an amazing smelling fragrance. Sort of an aromatic fougere, citrus accented, very complex. And Claire the Smurfy Girly, she, uh, well, from she's not a Smurfy. Well, maybe she is a Smurfy Girly. She's from the Smurfy Girly channel. She smelled it and said, yes, yeah, very, very you. It's like the epitome of you in a fragrance. So, you know what? I'll take that if the epitome of me is a very classy, expensive fragrance. Maybe that's a good thing. Hello, Mr. Clean. It's been a long time, buddy. How are you, kind man? It says Dr. Ronald Shoestring. How are you, Dr. Ronald Shoestring? Great part of the community there. Okay, guys. So, yeah, let's hit that, hit that super chat button. Give me the first uh, super chat of the night. Let's just make sure they're enabled. Otherwise, I get very upset. Guys, I've got a lot to talk about quickly in my little solo spot here, though. I went for a run tonight. Uh, it's okay, the weather here. Get, getting a bit dark, you know. It's getting a bit dark. Um, but you know, that's normal that you can't help that. But, uh, yeah, it's been okay. Let me just make sure the damn, uh, super chat thing is enabled because sometimes it disenables itself, which is not exactly funny for me. Get on with it. Stupid computer. So slow. Must be clogged up with something. Jesus Christ, man. This computer is not giving me a good helping hand. Okay. Super chat should work now. Hit me with one visit. Oh, thank you so much. First super chat of the night. I really appreciate that. That's a two pound super chat. And he's coming in thick and fast there with a £2 super chat. Thank you very much. Visit Hull. Really appreciate you. Really appreciate the consistent support there. The youngsters think we come dust at our age, Dan. Thank you so much. I Do they? Is that what they think? Well, no comment from me. There's only one way to find out. Thank you for the generous super chat. 49 people in the room. Hit the thumbs up button. Let's get this number over 100, guys. And let's get the show on the road. I think it's, maybe I'm not lighting myself well enough. Maybe that doesn't help. Uh, thank you very much for the generous super chat. Another one coming in there. Blake with a $1.99 super chat. Hello from Florida. Drinking and took PTO tomorrow. Thank you so much. What does PTO mean? Sorry, I don't know what that means. Thank you very much for the generous super chat. $1.99 super chat. I really appreciate that. Keep them coming, guys. Let's get this show on the road. I'm an ex-doctor. I was asked to retire. We won't ask why. I know this is the man formerly, the artist formerly known as Bozianovich in the house here under a new name. And uh, great to have you in the house there, Boz, over in Norway. But we'll call you Raid. Let me know how I pronounce that because it looks a little tricky to pronounce. Let me know how... That's fantastic. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit the super chats. We've got so far thumbs up are coming in. Clocking at 17. That's not enough, guys. We need that over 50 very, very fast now. And I'll talk about a little bit of stuff then. Um, our paid time off. Thank you. Sometimes you have different, uh, you know, shortcuts for these uh, phrases. I get you now. PTO. A little bit of put paid time off. I like that. Thank you so much. Three super chats so far. Keep them coming, guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you for the support, community. Really appreciate it. Mangignosis YT with a generous $2 super chat. I really appreciate the super chat. Thank you so much. Super chats are definitely enabled, and we have three so far. So we're going to talk about classic, classic, classic fragrances. Yeah, but I'm not wearing uh, I'm not wearing a Chanel tonight. You may say that I should wear a Chanel because we're doing that. You know what I'd say if you said that to me? I'd probably say this. I'm the boss. I'm in charge here. If you don't like it, you can fuck off. Okay? You don't like it, you can fuck off. Ah, uh, yes. I do love putting together a new Archie thing. I also love putting together a new Super Chat song. So if you missed this at the beginning, you missed a treat. So let me play it one more time and then we'll get to it. So start thinking about Chanel. This is the show where we focus on classic fragrances. Fragrances of yesterday. Fragrances of yesteryear that take you back to an age where men were men. And uh, women were men, women. And it was a different time to live. You know, the smells were much more delineated between what was meant to be a masculine smell and a feminine smell. I don't know that's good or bad. I wouldn't dare say that. I might get in trouble. But it was an interesting time to be alive. I can tell you that, guys. And when your parents came down the stairs wearing a fragrance, you knew they were wearing a fragrance, guys. I've got to be honest with you. So we're going to check out some of the options today. This fucking camera is really getting my fucking tits now. What the fuck is the problem? Okay, so... Okay, let's put the light there. My face. Jesus Christ. Okay. So, Bilbo, how are you doing? Good to see you in the chat. 
I'm going to send my views to Archie Luxury. All my viewers, I'm sending you to Archie Luxury today because I feel his anger. I I feel the same as him. I feel angry about the world. You know, I get very angry. Archie got everything stolen by some disgusting thief. So I'm going to help him in a tiny, tiny way that my pathetic channel can. I want you to all go and support him. Archie is back. He had a week of being very depressed and just eating ice creams on the streams. Now he's back. He exploded into full rage yesterday. That clip was from yesterday. He got very angry and I'm going to get very angry. If anyone takes the piss or anything like that in the chat, it'll be the last comment you ever make. So watch it in the chat there, okay? That's what I'm telling you. But but yeah, here's the Super Chat song. Tell me if you like it. The full version is available. I'm going to, yeah, I, 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 long story, but I've changed one of the lyrics because I didn't like it. It didn't work. It didn't span quite right. I, be, I put a lot of time into this. Give me a Super Chat if you like the song. Give me two Super Chats if you hate it. Oh, think twice. Cause if you super chat me now, that would be very nice Oh, think twice Cause if you super chat me now, I'll be in super chat paradise Let me know what you think about that, guys. Uh, tell your friends whether you like them or whether you hate them. As Archie used to say, center of the night, odor orange vert, as usual, totally not on topic, albeit it refreshing. Hey, that's fine. You can share this kind of information. You guys are part of the community. The chat is part of the show, and I love your comment there. Ashley Bissett, good for you. Really nice fragrance, and uh, can wear that all year round. Beautiful, crisp, refreshing fragrance. Center of the day there, uh, Melissa Villanueva is Shergi. It's Serge Luton's, a very famous, like almost probably the most highly rated and famed Serge Luton's fragrance. Send him your Rolex. I like him, but I don't like him that much. Also, he doesn't even want an old thing like this. He doesn't want a clapped out old date just on a bracelet that's about a bracelet that reminds you of well, would remind my wife of me after six pints. You know, this wrist bracelet ain't exactly stiff anymore. Right. That's that's like me. Uh, if if I suddenly get called into action on a Saturday night unexpectedly after rolling into bed after watching Match of the Day, it's not doing a lot of good for anybody. Uh, so he doesn't want this kind of old old thing. All right, great dial though, lovely linen dial. I think he's ordered he's ordered a bluesy, a two tone Submariner with a uh, you know the blue uh, dial and the uh, the two tone gold and steel bracelets. So he's going to get one of those. He will be back in greater numbers. Don't you worry about that, there, guys. Another super chat in paradise guys dave davici in the chat great to see you on the show uh, or at least part of the show by being in the chat thank you for joining me we're going to have a fun one tonight we're going to look at the best chanel so let me know right now in the chat which are the essential ones i'm talking classic chanel's okay hence whether you like it or whether you don't like it blur de chanel is not you know it's not classic fragrance okay neither in its style or design because it's distinctly modern, uh, or in the year that it was released, it's only twelve years ago, two thousand six. So that's that's out. Forget that already. Obviously, okay. I would say stuff that I really like, like Chanel Allurom Edition Blanche. I don't think that's a classic in any way. Okay, I like it. It's a classic, a modern classic, but you know what I mean. It doesn't fit our theme. I'm talking old fragrances. Even one that I wore for years, Chanel Allurom Sport. I don't think that counts as a classic. The style of the th it may be eighteen years old. It's not old enough yet to be classic. And the style. So you get what I'm saying here. You could argue Chanel Allure from 1999. I think that's a bit of a stretch. I don't call that a classic fragrance. You know some of the contenders, okay? It's going to be Antaeus that we're going to be discussing. Yeah, I'd be surprised if that doesn't get in. I'd be shocked if Egoist doesn't get in. We're going to talk men's and women's, okay? So I'd be, I mean, I guess you have to include number five. Do you? And then which version do you say? Or do you just say, you know, you probably have to talk about Coco. But do you have to talk about other things? Do you have to talk about Coco Mademoiselle, flankers of Coco? It's very difficult. Do you include Platinum Egoist? The debate will rage. Heads will roll. Things People will get motivated. People will get angry. Things are going to kick off tonight. I've got strong opinions of my own. What do you think in the chat? Has to be Antaeus. Says, um, uh, his name's not Antaeus. His name is uh, the fantastic Visit Hull. Great comment there, Visit Hull. I agree with you. Uh, almost certainly going to get in, but you never know. Someone might say, you know what, with so many other strong contenders, especially if we think about the ladies' uh, perfumes, of which, uh, you know, almost the, the, the more well-known ones are amongst the world at large, maybe the feminine releases. And we, we don't want to be a sausage party here, so we may even have a female guest. Oh, 
or even two. And the female fragrances, we've got to take them into consideration here, guys. I've got to be, uh, I've got to be uh, even-handed. Okay, Naspa Crew says need help, guys. Naxos Layton, psychedelic, Bois Mysterio, or music for a while. A uh, load of niche, niche fragrances are all on my wish list, but what to buy first? Help him out, guys. Naspa Crew, guys, hit us with a super chat. If you have, um, if if you have, uh, I'm just reading Dr. Ronald Shoestring's comment there. Thanks for sharing. Uh, I won't put that one on the screen. Yeah, help this guy out, Nasper Crew. He's got issues. Okay, he needs a, he needs help of the community. He's got first world problems. Uh, Ashley Bissett says, Yashi, you're going hard with that bomb of a frag. Absolutely. What? Uh, heat worldwide. I never smelled original egoist. That surprises me. It seems to be harder to come across in the USA. I, I find okay. Oh my God! You caught me drinking there. Says Raid. Uh, oh yeah, you were in the uh, the song. You were in the song, Raid. Uh, that, that, how do I pronounce your name, by the way? The man formerly known as uh, Boz Ayanovic. Here we go. Techware says uh, there was actually a Chanel number no. one to four. Was there actually a Chanel number no. one to four? Great question. Someone may be able to answer that. I don't particularly know. Uh, we've also got the OG Chanel Allure is top five. Says Bilbo. Bilbo Fraggins. Yeah, but is it classic? You could argue that it is. You could argue that it's not, guys. I don't know. Who am I to tell you? Uh, psychedelic coming in there. Yoshi, Yoshi uh, with the psychedelic. Okay, guys, do you want to do a quick, 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 before I bring in our first guest? Do you want to try and tell me something I should buy? Tell me a reasonably affordable fragrance I should buy, and I'll buy something online for a cheap thrill. I need to add stuff to my collection. I've just got in a new Chanel that we ordered on the show. I bought Gainsbury G-Man, and I bought, uh, it's just arrived today. Uh, Dervish, Dervish by Rogue Perfumery. Tell me what you want me to buy next. I'm bringing in our first guest in about five minutes from now. So uh, tell me what you want me to do, and I'll go and do a little bit of quick shopping if you want, guys, if there's something I should desperately guess, okay? Uh, I assume, yes, one to four was scrapped, says uh, Melissa Villanueva. Yeah, good point. I think someone help us with that. That's actually a great question. It's a very um, pertinent question. I'll be bringing in our first guest in approximately five minutes from now, and uh, we'll be getting some expert opinions on greatest Chanel classic fragrances. Okay, guys, it's going to be a fun one, and um, I wonder what you think are oh, the uh, the classics. Heat worldwide. I heard Antaeus. Smells like horseshit. I don't think so. Only a Philistine would express such a... No, it doesn't. You, we, whether you love it or whether you don't love it, it, it it's, you can't You can't say that. Irish Moose says Baba. Hubba Baba Irish Moose. Okay, I'll buy Irish. Good one. Let's buy Irish Moose. Uh, I'll bring in our two guests in like four minutes' time. I'm just going to do a little... Uh, we'll bring give you the build-up that you deserve, guys. And uh, we're going to go shopping for a little bit of Irish Moose now. Okay, let's have a look at this. Irish. How do I spell this? It's a mouthful and a half. Can you buy this easily in the UK? Let's do it, guys. Let's go shopping together. And uh, we're looking for Irish moose, which I can't spell, but I guess the Google will figure out what I mean. What? £8.95. No, I don't want a deodorant spray. Aftershave for males. That's me. Um, hang on. Guys, do I get the odor toilet or the aftershave? Help me out. Talk to me and we'll go shopping. Let me just present that screen. Here we go. Bring in our guests in about four minutes from now. And uh, they're backstage. I'm bringing in four minutes from now, guys. I'm trying to run my show to a tight schedule. So you'll be on time. Uh, I can promise you that. Here we go, guys. I'm going to share the Chrome tab. Irish Moose. And uh, we're going to have a look at that one. Uh, okay, what do you reckon of these options, guys? So we've got uh, we've got different options here. We've got the Parfums Dreams selling the Eau de Toilette spray. Do I want the Eau de Toilette or do I want the aftershave? I don't know. What does it matter to me? They're only about a tenner anyway, so ch just tell me quickly what one to get, and you just you just tell me. I don't care. You, you, it doesn't make no difference to me. Uh, Chanel Sport O Extreme gets too much hype. IMA, IMO, yeah, yeah. Never did it for me, neither. I've got to be completely frank with you. By Clinker Moss, says Shoestring there. Fine. Uh, EDT says JJ backstage. I'm going to do the EDT then. Let's buy the Irish uh, Moose EDT. It's on Ophelia's. That sounds like a reliable site that I've never heard of in my life. Uh, it's coming by 22nd of November. Bloody hell, that's a long time away. Okay. Um, yeah, never mind about the cookies. Don't worry about that. What? Hang on. Uh, oh, no, total sum. Okay, it's done. It's in the. It, I'm buying that. That's bought now. I can't actually buy it on stream because it wastes too much time. It's boring and me tired. I bought the Eau de Toilette of Irish Moose for you guys, uh, so you didn't have to. I hope you enjoyed that segment there. A bit of shopping online. Irish Moose, 
It's in the bag, guys. We're getting the Irish Moose fantastic call there. Okay, we'll just say a quick couple of hellos. Guys, remember, uh, if it's worth saying, it's for sure worth super chatting. We're going to re reveal our fantastic guests in about two seconds. Just, just please bear this in mind, guys. There are people like me desperately hoping for a super chat. Oh, think twice. Because if you super chat me now, that would be very nice. Oh, think twice. Because if you super chat me now, I'll be in super chat paradise. All right, guys, let's introduce our first star guest, and it's a fantastic J.J. Colburn. How are you doing today? I'm well. I, I, there's been dis some discussion on Canon. I have. Uh, I know this isn't a Chanel. It's far from it, but I love it. Canon Cologne. Uh, oh, yes. Yoshi, Yoshi was mentioning it, so I, I had to grab it. Oh, nice. In the chat. Yeah. What, I've never heard of it in my life. Tell me more about it. Canon. Um, it used to be made, made by Scanon, S-C-A-N-N-O-N. -N -N. Um, I don't know who it's made by now. Like the newer bottles, like, so, so take a look at this. So um, there's like a hard wooden, this is like a quality cat. Like it's a wooden cat. This is, this is, Love I it. don't know what kind of wood it is, but nowadays it's like this, like very flimsy. <laughs> I admire their effort for keeping it a, a natural wooden cap but now it's like balsa wood like you could crush it it's like so so cheap and flimsy but it's still wooden and this is how the caps used to be you know i don't know 20 or more years ago and i was just saying that if you want to experience canon at its best without getting too old of a bottle you'd get one with one of these darker grainy wood um caps and also like sort of a silvery label um cam and cologne i actually picked this up for the first time in the late 90s i i got into dated fragrances when i was in my early 20s if you can believe it and uh there was this place called colonial drug in harvard square they moved it to newton massachusetts a few years ago and I, that's when i started going in and and just exploring old fragrances uh in my early 20s so this is fantastic you, you you've uh, you've been into this for a while and that's uh, yeah, another one that i've never heard of so fantastic canon i i assume is that still produced today at all or not it is with that balsa wood cap like it's with okay, like okay. <laughs> it's funny how they you know like instead of like just making a pla plastic cap that looks like wood they're sticking with the wood but they're just using cheaper wood it's hilarious there's nothing scandinavian looking about the wood they use now <laughs> but it's still in production it smells okay um but it, there's something lost in the newer yeah. bottles are very cheap here in the states you could go to like tj maxx or marshall's and pick it up for 10 bucks um, yeah, and it's so so, but uh, an older bottle, it, it get an really older one, okay? Yeah, uh, all right, we've got a link there for JJ's channel. Go and check out the JJ Colburn channel if you haven't already subscribed. The link is there in the chat, and uh, go and hit that subscribe button. We're going to bring in our next guest here, Alex the Perfume Templar man in Trieste. How are you, hey, Alex? You're muted You're at the muted. moment, we can't hear you. Okay. <laughs> Ciao. Okay. Hello. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi. How are you? Everything okay? Yeah. Good to see you. Looking smart. I like the moustache. You're still mm. doing the Movember. The, the Mo it suits you really well, man. You look like someone from the 30s or 40s. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, st uh, striving to look like David Neven, but I'm uh, far from that. <laughs> Actually, I see where you're going with that. I think you do look a little bit like him. Okay, fantastic. So you're at work tonight. How's that going so far? Yeah, more oh, really easily, really smooth. No, no, no spectacular break in so far no, over in Trieste. No. Okay, let's do uh, scent of the night from people first. Then, so uh, I'll just go back to. Thank you for joining us, uh, Alex. I'll, I'll do you first, you and then we'll go back to, to JJ. So, what are you actually wearing? What do you wear? to work uh, on a, a, what must be a slightly long and lonely shift. What do you wear to get you through that? Uh, I'm wearing Versace the Dreamer. Since uh, I'm, I wore uh, tobacco fragrance yesterday, it was Arami Savannah. I said, okay, let's go. Let's go on with the, uh, with the tobacco. And Versace the Dreamer is something I... 
I often overlook. Uh, I see it there on the shelf. Uh, I say no, not today, but I should wear it more often because it's uh, it's extremely beautiful. It's yeah. really a great fragrance. I agree. The Dream of Vibe by Versace is fantastic. Got one more guest. I'm going to bring in in two seconds. JJ, then, what's your scent of the eve, early mid evening? I guess by by oh. now evening time for you. Yeah, what's your scent? Gee, I, I don't have one. Um, maybe oh, I can just. All right then, better fix it. Yeah, I am. Um, yeah, I have one now. <laughs> it's one of the Chanel's we'll be talking about. Should I share now or share later when we start talking about? Them? Okay, keep it a secret then. That's a good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll be. We'll, we'll keep. We'll, yeah, yeah. Okay, as it's a Chanel. Yeah, good one. Okay, fantastic. All right, we've got one more fantastic guest. We're covering the worldwide fragrance community here tonight. So we've got the fantastic Rafi from the Rafi Duran Bass Clef channel in Australia. Hello, Rafi. How are you doing? Hello, I'm very well. How are you guys? Wonderful. Well. It's great to have you here, Rafi. Okay, a, a connoisseur of uh, fragrances and uh, indeed a little bit of philosophy, which I'll have to get into another time with you. But uh, yeah, a fantastic guest. Thank you so much for joining us. We're really excited to have you. We're going to talk about uh, Chanel fragrances tonight, men's and women's. And uh, I did invite at least one uh, female guest, and I'll drop the link in a, in a few minutes if anyone else wants to hop on and talk about classic Chanel. We need to we need to do um, some more uh, female marketed fragrances. But knowing you guys, I'm sure you've got a couple lined up. But Rafi, uh, just uh, uh, on a more fun level, what do you happen to be wearing today? Uh, yeah, today I have got on, where is it? Uh, a friend of mine, actually a colleague of mine yesterday uh, lent me his Clive Christian collection so that I could review it and get, get my thoughts on it. So I'm wearing uh, this one, if you can see. It's the uh, 1872 Clive Christian. Oh, is it always blurring? Yeah. That one. It's a little 10 mil, but it's a baby the, bottle. The, men, the men's yeah. version. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Now, this house gets a lot of uh, cynicism. I must, because uh, they're expensive, basically, uh, and mm. some people feel that's unjustified. I must say, having smelled that one, I, re I really do like that smell. It's really nice. Are you a big fan, too? Uh, it's. I've never smelled any of the Clive Christians. So, yesterday yeah. I, I was testing them out, and today I'm giving that one a full wearing. And uh, I got to say, it's pretty good. That yeah, 1872 is, is pretty good. Yeah. If I had to get one Clive Christian, I would get it. And I'm always looking out for a bottle on, uh, you know, a, a discount. Okay, guys, I quickly get hit yeah. us with a, a, a very esteemed panel here. Hit us with a question. A super chat is the best way to do it. And uh, don't forget, super chats are the uh, fuel on which the live stream engine runs. Get, let's get some in, guys. Na, 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 na. Baby super chat, super chat, baby super chat. Na 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 na. Baby super chat, super chat, baby super chat. Let's bring in some super chats. Let's get this thing happening. Super chat, baby. <laughs> super chat. Let's get this on, baby. Guys, hit us with the questions in the super chats or influence the conversation whichever way you see fit uh, within reason, within reason. Melissa Villanueva, remember these classics were once called potions. That's it. We didn't, we didn't call them fragrances. We called them potions. Uh, said no one ever, apart from Al Manzano. So thank you for the comment there, <laughs> Melissa. Quite right. <laughs> okay, guys. So let's talk fragrances. We're going to talk Chanel's today. Um, just before we get into that. So obviously tonight we call it classic fragrance lounge. I don't call it vintage fragrance <clears throat> lounge. Because I allow for fragrances maybe that are still produced today, which you, therefore you may not consider it vintage. And also even we've had discussions on things, modern niche fragrances that have a classic vibe. OK, so mm -hmm. we're loose there. We're loose. But what, 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 what did you think I meant, guys, when I said classic Chanel? What I mean, I was thinking maybe they have to be at least 20th century. I don't really care. We can bend the rules. I don't mind. I'll go JJ first. What, where do you think we should draw the lines to define a classic Chanel? Um, something that has had enough time go by after its release that it would establish itself, um, and also have critical and, uh, critical acclaim to it. So there are a couple from the nineties that I think could, uh, qualify, but then a few from the nineties that wouldn't, um, yeah. I don't know. It's a subjective thing. You know, what does it mean to be a classic? Some people could say that things are a modern classic. So one could yeah. argue that a number of things that were released in just the past 15, 16 years could qualify as classics as well. So I defer yeah. to you, Dan, since you are the master of ceremonies as to where That's very, you draw the line. Very, 
very nice of you. Yes, I, 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 I'm not adamant either way, but I'll, I'll take a consensus of what we think. Okay, you're, thank you though. Yeah, good, good way of uh, looking at it that you explained there. Uh, Yoshi, Yoshi, with a generous one pound seventy nine super chat. Thank you very much. What provisions is Alex packing today? Alex, let us know. I have <coughs> Chanel Crystal, Anteus. Oh, pour Monsieur. Okay. Hang on, don't give away all your... <laughs> you know he meant your yes. lunch. You know he meant I love the eating. tossing, too. Like... Right, this is what uh, I have to do. And uh, since you're so smart uh, and so brilliant and so bright, Yoshi, now you hope on the stream and you talk about them instead of me. <laughs> that's said. Can... That's said. Uh, have a nice evening, gentlemen. Bye. Right. Oh, no. <laughs> oh... <laughs> What was that? It wasn't that bad of a question, was it? I it was a perfectly know. friendly question. I, I wasn't asking what he's having for lunch or dinner. You've seen it happen. Uh, I think he's referring to the lunch. I think it bothers L him. So. Lunch Yoshi, box, lay hey. off the lunch joke. <laughs> lunch. It bothers Alex, him. Alex, come back. I don't think he meant that in a bad way. So what provisions is Alex he, uh, no, packing provision, today? He, he's talking about lunch provisions per, you know what? the provisions for which you, you know, what, what, what it just bothers him i don't know I, i'm not his spokesperson so i don't yeah. know why but it does Guys, so we've had a gate um, uh it, it community does. in shock okay yes <laughs> alex gate it, it, infiltrating at the thursday nights dan provisions i warned gate. you about that <laughs> the drama's okay. infiltrating <laughs> I'll discuss this next time. I, I have to say, uh, I didn't think that. I thought that was an innocuous, harmless yeah. question. And I honestly I'm, thought he was talking about the Chanel's at first when I read it, but I know Yoshi has joked about the, uh, oh, the lunch. I don't so. think it was. That I don't hostile. think it's. You know, I personally don't think it's like the. You know, the worst thing, but no, yeah, it does. Okay, bother. let's move on, Alex. If you want to come back, maybe you know, maybe you can rethink that. I think it's. I think it's a shame to miss the whole show just because of that. Let's let's move on. <laughs> Ah, I'm sure that clip will be found somewhere, somewhere soon. Okay, one pound seventy nine. Thank you for the question. There, what provisions is Alex packing today? I will say, for my lunch, I had a chicken sandwich and a packet of Quavers. It's, it's a, a kind of uh, uh, crisps, like potato chips, but I think they're actually made wow. of corn. It's a, a, yeah, they're corn a cheesy, chips. cheesy corn snack uh, yeah. with a cheese sandwich. Mm, uh, no, a chicken so sandwich. Weird. There you go. Um, sticks. <laughs> Sticks ten points. Don't oh, ask him that. Crying out loud. Too, too no. Too He's not even here. What's for lunch, Alex? <laughs> Don't oh, ask. God. Him. Okay, thank you for the super chat. Okay. <laughs> too, oh, no. no. I need him to come back. At <laughs> That's some even point. worse. I'm sorry, Alex. Please come back. <laughs> Visit Hull with a two pound super chat. He's upset you forgot his birthday. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Visit Hull. Really appreciate the super chats, guys. Okay. Uh, let's move. We'll have to hobble on. I'm afraid uh, after that. Okay. Um. Listen. Let's yeah. <laughs> let's get back to the topic in hand. Okay. So we we'll talk Chanel. Okay. R uh, Rafi, what's your view on where do we draw the lines for what's classic and what's not? Is it a time thing, or are there other anything, criteria? Anything after 1930. Anything, anything before after? Anything before 1930 is, be is before classic. 19 Chanel, <laughs> isn't it? Okay. That's that's it. Yeah. So it's gotta be, <laughs> I was uh, trying to wrap my head around the after no, 1930 after, at first. Before. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, English is not wow. my first language. Okay, that's um, a very purist yeah. outlook there. Okay, though, well, I'm 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 yeah. out then. I've got I might have to do an Alex now, and <laughs> I'm going to rage quit myself. I think because I don't have <laughs> Just anything. Throw, that it, old. throw your boxes and leave. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you, I tell you what, that was good theatre, Alex. Thank you. We didn't plan that. I didn't say to no, him, Alex. I'm, you know, I feel bad. Little, uh, it bothers him, you know, and I, I feel right. bad. Like I, Listen, I, you know, it sucks to see somebody annoyed like that. Yeah, it, it'll be all right. Let, let's not uh, listen. <laughs> Let's not uh, dwell on it for his sake. All right, let's indeed, get, let's dive indeed. in then. Let's just go. Listen, so we've got our ideas. Yeah, for me, I was kind of thinking made in the 20th century if I just went for a really simplistic thing. However, if you've got one that's made after, I've actually got one after that. I'm thinking, oh, maybe it is because it smells classic. I actually got two. So whatever. Uh, the point is that we talk about fun fragrances. We'll try and get a top 10 because I think people quite like it when we actually say which ones make it in the end. So we'll quite try and get a top 10 and yeah. we'll go to J J. Uh, first and JJ, uh, your first selection for a classic Hall of Fame contender from the House uh, of Chanel. Well, I suppose I could share the one that I decided to wear because it's it smells so good. Um, and it's the EDP. I'm not going to get into that discussion about EDT versus EDP and all that garbage, vintage versus, versus modern. I have this 
modern EDP, and I find nothing lacking in it. And it's uh, Queer de Russi from Chanel. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, very, very well regarded fragrance. Could you, if you happen to know it, can you tell us the year of release for that one? Oh, goodness. I was actually oh, trying to look it up last that qualifies. That qualifies in my definition. I think it's that's before the, the 1930s. Yeah, it's yeah, the 1920s. That's fine. I'll, I'll look it up yeah. while you tell us more about it. Uh, go for it, JJ. Yeah, well, it is um, uh, a reference Russian leather. And yep. it's a floral leather. And what makes it a Russian leather is that there is this, uh, um, it's underpinned by something called birch tar. And birch tar is extracted from birch trees using this destructive process. It doesn't destruct the tree, it destructs the oil. And it, it imparts a very smoky, deep, leathery kind of smell. So when you have that and you have, I do think there's isobutyl quinoline in this as well, which is a classic uh, leather material used in a lot of leathers, especially, you know, mid-century or early, early 20th century through the mid-century. Um, and then, you know, I don't know, I don't think there's castorium in it today, but in a castorium accord would be included as well. But it's also floral, it's unisex. I, I don't know if it was really marketed to either gender when it was first released. Gendered stuff wasn't really happening in the 20s. Um, I think it was it was in vogue for females uh, until a certain point where, you know, men realize that it's, it, there's nothing particularly gendered about it at all. And it's beautiful. And I do think that it qualifies to be in the top 10 classics um, from Chanel. All right. You've made a very good case. Yeah. Uh, I think there. So obviously this one now available in the exclusives range of the, the more expensive ones from uh, Chanel, which are only in the big department stores. But in indeed, originally released as uh, Fragrantica is telling me there, 1924. Uh, just to, I'll do the sort of, um, you know, the, 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 the you. technical stuff here on, on just reading out the note listing. So you've actually got notes listed officially for this one uh, at the moment. Uh, by the way, the perfumer Ernest Bow. And top notes mm. officially listed as Clary Sage, Orange Blossom, Bergamot, Lemon, Mandarin Orange. Middle notes of Iris, Ylang Ylang. Carnation, Vetiver, Jasmine Road, and Cedar. Base notes, of course, include leather, birch, tobacco musk, amber, heliotrope, and vanilla. And, of course, take these uh, Fragrantica listings with a pinch of salt. But uh, that's that's what they're currently listing officially. So, great. Okay. Yeah, strong case. I'm going to write that down as a strong contender. Um, we'll have our thoughts overall on who thinks it's in or out in a second. But I'll go for another uh, suggestion from our other fantastic guest here, Rafi, down in Australia. And I'm going to drop the link for his channel to JJ's link in the chat, which I've just reposted. Now, Rafi, what have you got to bring to the table? I'm not going to ask you what you're having for lunch because I want to at least keep two guests. So um, I know it's mm. around lunchtime where you are. What is your suggestion for a classic Chanel, please? Yep, you're, you're lucky it's not lunchtime yet, so it's good. All right, thank um, you. Yeah, so just just caffeine, just my daily sort of All intravenous right. dose of it. So my first pick, I've I've... I don't know if it's uh, if it's well known. I'm not the biggest fan of Chanel, but I do have my favorites, and uh, one of them one of them is this one. I've only got this little parfum that I picked up recently. This is Gardenia. Um, oh. I had a, yeah. So when I was living overseas, I found like a bottle of this at some street market, and uh, it was an old sort of 1990s bottle, and I wore the shit out of it. I thought it was one of the most beautiful scents uh, that I could wear in summer as a floral. Gardenia is my favorite. Um, scent of a flower and mm. so this kind of captures it quite quite honestly and correct me if i'm wrong here um jj that it's one of the flowers that can't actually be extracted as in the scent can't be extracted and so, so this is just a, a representation of the smell mm, well i would imagine they're not really using an enfleurage of gardenia because that would be prohibitively expensive you can do an enfleurage of gardenia mm. or a concrete of gardenia but it is very expensive it is just not um practical to use so there are many different materials both natural and synthetic that are used to put together a gardenia cord in modern perfumery uh, but you can have a very natural smelling gardenia note as a result and i think that it is there in um in Chanel Gardenia, it, it does. Yeah, to me. Me. This, 
This one I was lucky enough to pick up um, earlier this week, this sort of five pack of the parfums and I've dated it to like the early 90s and they've never been used. There were some old ladies uh, and she'd never used it. So I, I purchased it from, from them and I've, I've worn this a couple of times now. It's quite fleeting um, as is a, a, a white floral scent, but when it's there, it's just absolutely beautiful. And I think when it's hot, it probably will do a lot more radiating off the skin um, than when it was cold. But yeah, it, it, this is one of my personal favorites. I have like a, a top three of Chanel and this is this is one of them. Okay, Lovely. Okay. 1925. 1925. Yes, Ernest Bowe. Right. Yes, Ernest yeah. Bowe, the great historic perfumer there, 1925 and currently listed on uh, Fragrantica as having these notes, orange blossom, green notes, gardenia, of course, tuberose, jasmine and fruity notes, Base notes of apparently, I'm always a bit skeptical because this seems to be this sort of a mistake that happens on Fragrantica. Anyway, coconut, vanilla, musk, sandalwood, vetiver, and patchouli. Maybe coconut's true in that case. Um, anyway, um, mm -hmm. yeah, interesting. And that one, of course, also I think is in the uh, exclusives line. It's uh, it is now. Of, yeah. <laughs> it, yeah, I mean, it, it was around in the 1990s as well in uh, in an eau de toilette form ah, okay um, yeah and then they brought it back uh, in the les exclusives and now uh, you can still get it and it at a parfum concentration and and still the parfums they still sell those too mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes there's uh, so like things have moved on of course so now yeah of course a lot of these older classics repackaged by the house of galan in these new bottles kind of i think they kept, they cottoned onto the whole niche fragrancing and now they have their upscale line uh you can debate is is the chanel exclusives version is that niche or designer? I, I, I'm not going to get into that right now, but you could, you can uh, debate that. Here we go. Rafi must be a giant, says visit her with a $2 super chat. I think he meant about the small bottle. Yeah, very good. Uh, please, <laughs> I think that's a harmless joke. Please stay. Please stay. Um, thank you for the uh -oh. joke. Uh oh. Thank you so oh, much. Mad. Yeah. Uh, with a great super chat on the night that lunch, <laughs> I, I wasn't missing a drama. So I will. Uh, listen. How does he know that I'm. Uh, Oh, he's talking about the bo yeah. You, like, like, you actually are pretty from... tall, Ralphie, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't see me from the waist down, so I don't know how he knew that. But that's that's yeah. good. That's that a was good a good one. Thank you. Really appreciate the support there. Listen, seriously, guys, the super chats do help me a lot because I put a lot of time into the streams. And I really do appreciate them. Uh, and yeah, say anything, Yoshi. Yours, the comment you made was completely fine. Nothing wrong with it. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, but it did mean that Lunchgate has exploded all over the stream, and uh, there'll be Prepare another night there. Wouldn't it? A night we'll, we'll never forget. Uh, here we go. Vule Vu with a $9.99 super chat. I like this super chat. Hello, darling Smelly. Oh, dear. I better, oh, you make me get a bit excited there. Uh, have you tried Joe Malo Malone Snowdrop? I haven't. Oh, no. It smells very retro and sexy. Thank you very, very much for an incredibly generous $9.99 super chat from the delectable Vule Vu. I want to get on the show. I haven't tried it. I clearly need to dig in to the Joe Malone range. I will, I will visit my local department store and do a trip there, especially for you. Uh, they get a bad rep, and it's unfair. I think there are a lot of them that yeah. are really great. Yeah, Joe Malone is not as not as weak and and middling as people think. I think there's a lot of great ones in the house. I so. agree. Yeah, I think amber and lavender. I love sort of typical That's thing I would one. like from them. Really pleasant indeed. Yeah, really like it. Okay, well we're all still recovering from uh, the, uh, the 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 back uh, the backdraft there from the explosion of Lunchgate. But we'll try and soldier on here in, in the ruins that now surround us of this live stream. Here we go. Vule Vu's generous nine dollar ninety nine super chat. That's the kind of support I want to see from the community, guys. Fantastic. Okay, let's move along. I guess it's time for little old me to give an inclusion. Then listen, I'll I'll go. Uh, yeah, very obvious choices. But, you know, some of these are in, some of them might not be. I think this one's got a good case. But you know what? You know, there's a lot of great fragrances from Chanel. So even some really good ones are probably not going to make the list, let's face it. So I want you guys' feedback. Uh, but so far, I'm very intrigued by both your choices. I would say Queer de Russi might, just based on the fact that I've heard more about it, have a really, really strong case. Gardenia, hmm, Interesting. We'll come back to that and we'll get JJ's vote on that later. And if any other guests hop on, that would be sensational. Port Monsieur, then, of course, the first definitively uh, male marketed fragrance. And of course, the only one released in the lifetime of uh, the lady herself, Coco Chanel, 1955 release. And um, it was, oh, poop, I've forgotten his name. Is it Guy Robert? Or uh, I've forgotten the perfumer's name now. Uh, I'll look that up. I'll double check the perfumer. Anyway, it is a fantastic composition. 
beautifully done kind of citrus leaning sheep fragrance uh nice uh, bitter green lemon bergamot hint of neroli some listings give you ginger some don't it's a subtle spiciness in there lavender your classic oak moss and a little bit of a vetiver in the base very very refined doesn't last that long it's not that potent but you know i don't worry about that too much I, I get a little bored when people focus overly on that kind of thing and it's a refined elegant understated but exquisite gentlemanly fragrance a lady can wear it too really really beautiful i actually many years before i actually got into being a fraghead before there was such a thing i bought this just because i thought hmm what's a good fragrance to buy i was like 21 i thought well chanel's good that's like my most the, the most well-known, prestigious designer house in my tiny 21-year-old mind. And if it just says Paul Monsieur, it's for the man. That, that will do me. And I bought it. And I, I also tried it, and it smelled really great. So fantastic. Really love it. Glad to have it in the collection again. Need to get some more. Love the eau de toilette. So I think this has definitely got a, a strong case. Let us know what you think of that in the chat there. There's an EDP version that we may discuss also. Um, I'm intrigued, JJ, because I don't think I remember you ever discussing this one. Maybe I'm wrong. What are your thoughts on Chanel Paul Monsieur? I think it makes sense for it to be in the top 10. Uh, I have only, though, uh, in my possession these days, is the Pomassier uh, Eau de Toilette Concentré, ah, which I think was released okay. in 1989. And is now. And it, there's now an Eau de Parfum. Um, I don't even know the differences all, really all that much between the two. Um, but this is... I guess you could call it a flanker or a different concentration. I wouldn't expect this one to be in the top 10, but it's here to represent. So yeah, well, my vote would just... be for the original. Okay. I'm, okay. Yeah. Well, we'll have to have that debate because I actually have both. And I think okay. there's enough difference that we can really sort of talk about them as two th things a little different. Uh, however, I have the one they now call the Eau de Parfum. So I'm not sure yes. whether this is just a renamed the version of the uh, concentrate oh, as used to be, or if I, yeah. I think it is, but I don't, you know, obviously the formula, show, you, we can have that debate in a minute, but let's get, okay. Definitely a strong contender. The eau de toilette, strong or not strong. It's a weak one, I admit, but it's, a, yeah, the smell is exquisite. Voulez vous, very generous, $4.99 super chat. Really, really appreciate that. That's very kind. Love your support. And that's pomegranate noir. And she says uh, by Joe Malone, please try this. Get a sample ASAP. Well, that is a really good one. Which added, I will have to do it. So thank you so much indeed, Melissa Villanueva. Great to see you still in the chat. As long time, about time we saw you on the show. Um, just in case you fancy hopping on, if you have any thoughts on this topic, I'm just, what I'm doing with this drop, I don't want to sort of have anyone uh, hop on and be annoyed if I don't let them on, if I don't know them. So I'm just going to specifically say to people in the chat, if I know them, if, so this link is for v Melissa. Should you happen to make a long overdue return to the panel here? If you have a thought on this topic, it'd be lovely to see you. Okay, great super chat there from Voulez Vu. Um, Rafi, the eau de toilette version of the, the, the Chanel Pour Monsieur. Fan or not fan? Oh, I'm a Not big yet. fan of pomegranate noir. Are you uh, asking? No, a pomegranate about... noir? Or... No, I, was, I, I was going, I want Rafi on the Chanel uh, eau de toilette. Oh, <laughs> I think you're still talking about the super chat. Yeah, sorry. Oh, my, yeah, Rafi, fault. Sorry. Rafi, my fault. Chanel, Rav, mm -hmm. eau de toilette version of Chanel Pomassure. Yeah, not not yet. I don't know. Like uh, that sort of scent profile always has connotations to me of like uh, older men in my community growing up smelling like that so i i kind of mentally don't see myself there yet okay mm. yeah some things some things are cool some things are not but like i've i've smelled this many times i've never really uh, pulled the trigger on you know getting myself one because i don't think i'll actually end up wearing it or in, enjoying right. it or does it just doesn't suit me yeah so it's great one of those I things. Want different, it's no fun if we all agree all the time so that's good you're, you're not a fan of it i like that okay why not that's good okay fair opinion yeah it, 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 it is yeah, it, it, it's an old-fashioned smell, I think. I like that, but I get, I completely get where you're coming from. Great point there. Okay, but Fernando Soto with a generous Mexican $65 super chat. Thank you. That's very kind. Really appreciate your support. Keep those super chats coming. They really make a difference. Chanel is my favorite designer house. Me too. Um, so this... Well, so this will be a show to enjoy. Center of the night, Chanel Egoist. Good man. Fantastic. Uh, thank you for the generous super chat there, Fernando Soto. We've got a great panel here. Um, it's me, Mr. Smelly, hosting wonderful JJ Colburn, whose link I will drop again in one second. I'm just dropping again the link. Tell you what, Rafi has a fantastic channel, uh, an under-the-radar channel, because there's so many fragrance channels now 
uh, out there and some of uh, the channels that y y you really would enjoy watching they don't get thrown up in your feed as much as some of the huge channels so i really want to give shouts out to these people and make sure you guys discover them because they're the type of people i know my audience particularly who gravitate towards uh, the, some of the old school sense and um, yes, believe it or not, some of my audience do enjoy in-depth knowledge, uh, which is not that I provide much. They will enjoy your channel. So the link is there for Rafi's channel. And I'll drop the link again for JJ's uh, to JJ Colburn, likewise, an aficionado, not only of uh, classic old school fra fragrances, but uh, modern stuff too. But of course, does know his his uh, his onions, as we say in England, when it comes to the old school gems. Here we go. Uh, I've got a fantastic super chat from the um, the uh, the eloquent visit holder with a five pound super chat. Many thanks. Keep those coming. Really appreciate the support. Your friend's homewares number five. Good start. Completely harmless start there. But with her halitosis. Sweat patches, face warts like Christmas baubles, and farts that sound like an underwater trombone ruined it. <laughs> well, yes, thank you for that. I, what a family you've got there. You you, you have a very colourful life. Thank you, Visit mm. Home. I, I do appreciate it. Keep them coming. I love them. Thank you so much. Really appreciate the super chat. That's absolutely delightful. Thank you, Visit Home. We love you. Uh, we've got the fantastic Lewis in the hat there. Drawn out sense. Looking handsome, chaps. Thank you. I'm late to the party. Lewis, if you want to hop on, if you, it's about, you know, just because he's young doesn't mean he doesn't know. Oh, this link's for you, Lewis. If you want to hop on and talk about classic fragrances from Chanel, I'd love to see you. Here's one other person that I could say exactly the same thing. Remington Evernia, wonderful. I love the, what you did with your name there. I see what you did there. Um, mm -hmm. With a $2 super chat, really <laughs> kind of you, and you're a great guest. Hop on if you want. I'm in shock. <laughs> Lunchgate has exploded all over the community. It's happened again, guys. It's happened again. No, Lunchgate just no. saw it. Thank you for the super chat. You gotta love it. You gotta laugh. Um, come on, that was a harm. It was. It was. That, if you can't laugh about that, then why why live? Okay, Remington Evernia, fantastic. Two dollar super chat. We love it. Yes, the community is shocked. There's a link for you if you want to hop on to. I miss you, Remington. Always got a lot to say on classic fragrances. A real connoisseur theme tonight is classic chanel's gerard george likewise if you want to hop on that links for you too gerard george good evening dan jj raffi and chat great part of the community this guy's got a great channel don't go and check it out um yes fernando <laughs> uh i don't want to i know that alex won't want me to dwell on it but i mean you know <laughs> I, i'll just quickly i'll tell you what happened fernando because you're a great part of the community um yeah we just, it, there was a question asking um alex what his provisions were for the night uh, which just meant what he had for, for his, his his food while he's at his night shift. And uh, he, he didn't take too kind of... He, he rage quit the stream, let's be honest. Uh, these things happen, but we love Alex and we hope he'll be back. Okay. Um, all right, so we'll keep going, going guys. So we've, we've had one selection each. Rafi, not a huge fan of the Chanel Pont Monsieur. Me and JJ, pretty positive, but we're going to talk about the EDP or the Concentrate soon. And we've also had Queer de Russi and Gardenia as choices. So it's back to the... Um, the maestro himself, JJ, any more suggestions? Meanwhile, I'll drop your link in the chat, guys. JJ. Mm, oh, hang on a minute. I'll put you full screen, sorry. Oh, yeah, this is Where's a little baby bottle. bottle. Four milliliter, courtesy of Anuj. And here it is. And this is Cristal Eau de Toilette. This is my... Um, my selection to be voted into the top 10. All and right, Chris, uh, well, I'm writing this down. Tell us about this. I'm actually ignorant of this one. Please tell. It is a green fruity Shepra. Um, it has a melon note, much like Diorella, but it is sort of Chanel's answer to that style. Um, so I don't really even I don't consider it too much like of an also ran. I don't think Chanel really did was in you know the market of also rans, but um, it's really beautiful stuff. This was my first experience with it, and I'm sure Rudy, who is head over heels for Cristal, could um, reap the praises and and uh, wax poetic about how great it is. Um, but yeah, it is unisex as well, uh, and I would call it like a green galbanum mossy shebra with some fruitier elements but fruity in the 70s sense so we're talking about like that sort of melon and plum and that sort of good stuff so crystal all right my little crystal. baby crystal okay this is all i need that's right okay. don't need a big bottle just a baby to dab on 
Yeah. And it's an eau de toilet. I love. Yeah. I, I do love those charming vintage minis there. Now I'm getting a, a funny result here. On I, I, I'm ignorant here, but I've looked on for grand tickets. Telling me it's a sheep floral from 1993, but that's the eau de mm, parfum. No, 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 no. It's, 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 it's like it's 70s, right? Okay, 70s. okay. It's okay. like let me let me, yeah. let me let me try that again. Okay. Uh, let's. Meanwhile, uh, I would like to ask for the opinion from uh, Rafi there. I really like uh, this one. A, a I think it's solution. yeah. I think when it came out. It, it could have been unisex when it came out. Yeah, like it could have very yeah, well. It's, it's like it totally, is. but it's like a really clean and, and fresh. I don't have, I don't have one myself, but I've, I've, uh, I've had tests of it on many occasions, but yeah, I do like this one and it might end up joining, you know, the club here. It, it's really, it, it is kind of clear, crystalline, sheer, mm. um, there's something about it. There a, a watery quality, which yeah, yeah. I I love that uh, that um, that quality to Cristal. I'm intrigued so, yeah, now. That's my, uh, my nomination. You, uh, I, I love it. Thank you. Okay, yeah. let me just give you a little bit of a screen share. Let's use some high technology there, Cristal. Oh, de Toilette. Then this is a 1970s release. It turns out, and it is in fact from. Uh, originally the year of 1974. It's Henry Robert. Mm. So I think that was mm. the guy behind the original Chanel Pour Monsieur. So at least my brain does still function somehow, despite the amount of alcohol that goes through it every day. Uh, some brain cells have survived. That's reassuring. And we've got their fantastic uh, breakdown of the notes that uh, it may or may not be true on Fragrantica. Citrus aromatic. I want to get this now. I, I love citrus arom aromatics. Sicilian lemon, the only type of lemon I like. Bergamot, hyacinth, Brazilian rosewood, Likewise, don't don't mess around with the uh, Indian rosewood here. Honeysuckle, jasmine, oak moss, and vetiver. Sounds like simplicity itself. I'm going to try and get that. Uh, so yep. if I want to get this now, guys, what do I do? Do I just, is it still, I'm, I forgive my ignorance. I'm very ignorant of female marketed fragrances. Do I go out and buy a bottle? Is it discontinued? Help me. It still exists. It still oh, exists. Yeah. Um, you can buy though, it from... Right? Um, I think it still is an eau de toilette. There was actually a flanker. Cristal Overt, I believe, which yeah. I have ne I've never tried that one, but I heard it's quite nice. You can get it from Chanel directly um, from their site or from a... All right. That could be the next thing in my shopping cabinet. basket. Thank let me you, just, guys. Um, let me just... Hello? Shin <laughs> no, sorry. I was trying to... Yeah, she's dead, right, Coco? She died. But uh, I was trying to call her. Doesn't, doesn't um, unfortunately, yes, uh, yes, uh, that, that, that happened a while back. Thank you so much. We've got a great super chat there. Uh, thank you so much for the super chat, Thomas James, with the one dollar ninety nine oh, super chat. No. Uh, why is why is Alex just a look? Why is Alex such a drama queen over nothing? Thank you. I can't answer that. Thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it, Alex. We love you. We'll hope you'll be back soon. Uh, it's absolutely fine. Alex has he has spoken up for himself there in the chat. He has the right of reply. The perfume temple says, Terry's thanks, uh, <laughs> two smiles, thanks for your kind words. I'll be back once i've seen yoshi hop on the show and uh, talk about fragrances as alex leaves the show after lunchbox gate explodes can the community avoid all out war <laughs> We're all in shock. Let's move. Let's move on, guys. Let's move on. Come on, come on. It's all fun. It's all fun. Alex, you know we love you, and we'll have we'll, we'll welcome you back very soon. I hope. Okay. Um, so that I'll, little I'll, clip, that little clip there, just kind of makes it look like it was staged now, because you had this. Oh, they had this thing prepared. <laughs> Community. He has that. Dan has that yeah. as part of his arsenal. It's at the ready, and in instances yeah. like this. So how many thumbnails ready. have you got ready with explosions? In I the won't. Background? I, I swear. No, I won't. I promise you, I won't do it because. It's, you know, Explosions that, of lunchboxes, just you know. <laughs> the things that get you clicks. Is it, 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 to be honest with you, to be frank, like that that was you know there there was some theatre in that that I I did enjoy. It wasn't planned, of course. Uh, but the things that you actually get more views for would be maybe if you know somebody says something terrible about Jeremy or Jeremy's ex shows up perhaps somewhere or Big Beard attacks Jensen. So that that that, that wouldn't be something I'd exploit. Honestly, I'm not that bad. Okay, uh, let's said move that on, to though. somebody who doesn't know about fragrance. You go Big Beard business attacked Jensen's. 
They put yes. you in the loony bin. That's what they do. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> well, they probably will soon. I think uh, they probably will. Uh, it won't be long. Okay, guys, we're getting some great tips. Look, we're trying to have some also some great fragrance knowledge, and I'm loving your suggestions, guys. So, Crystal, yes, like it. I think it's back to Rafi next for your second choice. Woo! Uh, you know this is coming. Um, this guy, Caramandel. Oh, uh, why is it? Uh, yeah, he... yeah. Fucking blur. All right, here you go. There you go. Uh, yeah, push it right. Sorry. Uh, not, yeah. Uh, I'm go. trying to multitask it. Oh, yeah. yes. Caramandel by Chanel. There you go. This one. Uh, I don't know now if we say classic. It's a, Can it be a modern classic? Because it was 2006 or seven, something like that. that it well, came make out. the case. Mm -hmm. It's up to you to make the case. I'm open. I'm not right. ruling it out yet. Yeah. Okay. Make well, it smells like a Chanel and the only other thing that that it's got going for it is that i absolutely love it um and it's it's it still smells like a chanel but different enough so that i actually love it you know i i do express my opinions quite strongly about this and that i think that for a fragrance house that has such a a wide um catalog and and such a wide reach of quality ingredients that they do sort of rest on their laurels a little bit i would love to love for them to take more chances and, and be a bit more daring. And I think Yoshi had a comment earlier up that said that um, I think Chanel's confused as to what they're going to bring out as their next men's fragrance, because mm -hmm. what are they going to do? What are they going to do uh, as their next big men's fragrance? You know, are, are they going to go the, the, the modern route? Are they going to create a new genre like they did with Le de Chanel, you know? So um, I think, yeah, I mean, back back to this. This is great. I love it. I'm I'm putting it as my contender for the for the top ten. Coromandel. But, okay, yeah. I like it. Yeah, um, Coromandel. Yeah, obviously a little bit more of a modern release. But let me just get the the details yeah. there for you guys on the this. Is the uh, eau yeah. toilette one that that came out um, earlier right. on, and then now there's just, an eau de parfum. Just, it's not, for, a, for it's not much. People interest. watching who may not there have heard is. about this, uh, there was a so, okay. So originally these were called eau de toilettes, these le, le, le exclusives, and then they reformulated them and called them eau de parfums, which you would think might mean that they become better and richer, but it seems it was just a marketing thing. And many people felt the eau de toilettes were the earlier eau de toilette versions were better. Is that is that a correct summary of events? <laughs> It the, depends yeah. on the fragrance, you know. For, uh, people argue that this uh, that Sycamore and the EDT was far superior to the EDP. That the EDP ruined it for what it was. But then others like Coromandel, uh, minimal difference, and and Queer de Russie and Thirty One Rue Cambon and Number Eighteen actually is arguably improved with it mm -hmm. being an EDP. So it's really on a case by case basis and it's a matter of taste and it's subjective. So yeah. Right. And the EDP EDT thing, it's just so arbitrary at this point. I guarantee you, you know, if we're thinking in terms of actual concentration, we're, we, there wasn't like a necessarily like an, a, an, an, you know, an increase in the concentration. It was just, that's more, right. I think. That's right. Yeah, you know I, why? Because when I initially went to, went to buy this one um, the, and, and I've tested it beforehand, I was like impressed at how strongly it, it performed and how well it, uh, you know, how long it lasted, how well it projected. And I was like, Jesus, this is a beast. Right. And it's an eau de toilette. Yeah, yeah. And when I went yeah. to actually buy the bottle, the lady was like, these are actually eau de toilette concentrates, but we don't, we don't say that anywhere. And I'm like, yeah, right. Yeah. Are you trying to look? I'm already buying it. You don't. You don't need to sell it to me. But she told me that after I had bought it, I was like, hey, okay, interesting. Yeah, yeah. So you it might be the same shit, right? Or, or or very similar. Um, I, I I think that concentrations, um, in the names of fragrances and the way that they're marketed are really arbitrary at this point. They really are. You're not going to necessarily see different, you know, differences in performance where it's an improved in an EDP. Sometimes you'll find that BDT performs a lot better. It And also, you no, know, not to go off on a tangent, performance is subjective. What are your expectations in performance? So it's, mm. it's all arbitrary. I agree. Mm. Yes, I do agree with you on that point. I'm just going to do a quick super chat there. Sticks uh, 10.2 Schlonghammer with a generous <laughs> $2 super chat. What's for lunch, Benjamin Perfume? 
Uh, who's Benjamin? Uh, I listen. If anyone wants to know my lunch or, or dinner, I'm I'm okay with that. That's fine. Uh, get, 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 uh, Pretty thanks sure. For Tell us. <laughs> Sardines, <laughs> <That's> right? <dinner. laughs> for dinner, you know what? I'm having steak. I'm having steak uh, in a bit. For Sardines dinner. out of a can. No, that was. <laughs> well, Isn't it, it midnight? Be, it will be if you don't super chat. Yeah, I have. I have very late dinners, but. What can I tell you? I live alone. There's no one to be upset. And I, I, I live up because I do these streams, you know, I have to, I, I'm almost living New York time here. My, my, my time has to fall in. Anyway, but uh, yeah, yeah, I do as I please. I'm, I'm a very strange, uh, strange bachelor with my own ways. Sticks 10.2. I really do appreciate that generous and very pertinent question there uh, with a fantastic $2 super chat. We really appreciate it. The community is, we have all the drama here. <laughs> Lunchbox gate. Lunch gate has exploded on the stream. And un unfortunately, we are all in shock. We, we are surrounded by the embers of that explosion, guys. It's amazing. The community is in shock, says Vule Vu with a $1.99 super chat. Thank you. I really, really appreciate your support. The delectable, delightful Vule Vu, great part of the community. She's actually part of the watch community too, although I think uh, she's a little bit, uh, she's not too, she's a little disgruntled with some of the goings on there. And uh, it all goes on in these streams, guys. Let's get back to our topic. Listen, we've got another fantastic friend here and a fantastic part of the panel it's good to hey, have some young up? blood here southeast hey. mania how are you doing lewis hey good to meet you jj and rafi i'm just gonna warn you dan i can't be on for too long but i just well, thought i'd pop on it's just, uh, short but sweet is, and i want everyone to know if you can only hop on for 15 minutes or five it's still fantastic and we love seeing you southeast maniac welcome to the show since you haven't got long and you haven't had a go yet i'll go straight to you this guy really loves his classic fragrances actually he loves he's not like a classic specialist that that's the only stuff he's into but i know lately you have really got gotten into them so talk to me about chanel classics please the wonderful Lewis, otherwise known as the Southeast Maniac. Man, my awesome. lighting sucks. I'm also sitting on my it's... coat. Reason being, I've just got in from work. But anyway, we're the thing is, it, it, I'd rather <laughs> have good sound and not the best visual than the other way around. We can hear you. It's fine. Sure, we can see sure. you well enough. Keep going. Yeah, talk to me about Chanel. I like vintage Anteus. Though when I got it, I think maybe the top notes died off because I showed it to my dad and he said... It smells a bit different. He remembered some more freshness being in there. But I, I got through like a small one. A lot of vintages can be really expensive. But I find that if you buy like official smaller sizes, like the one that JJ showed, yeah. it could be mm -hmm. easier on the mm -hmm. wallet. Also, Good way to favorites. discover them. Yeah, very good. And I'm yeah. trying to be very much into preaching, don't spend beyond your means, guys. We try to be responsible here. Okay, good call there, Lewis. And Teos will definitely be a contender. Keep going. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and, um, oh, and the, the small, if you like the small one, you can go and find a bigger one if you really love it. That's another thing, isn't it? And I like, yeah. um, from the Les Exclusives, I like number 22 EDP, which I Ooh. think is a recent release, but I know that Match. the original is from a long time ago. So uh, I like the number 22 hmm. DNA. It's like a very fresh aldehyde. It's like a very fresh poppy sort of piercing aldehydes to give like this clean inky feel yeah and i really like that one it's probably my favorite classic chanel is number 22. wowza so, okay um interesting i had not uh, thought of that one at all number 22 okay two great contenders thank you lewis good to see mr clean in the chat how are you doing there lovely to see you and uh anyone else uh who we know there in the chat say hello keep the super chats coming we've had some really good ones tonight and uh, we also have max 40 fan in the house good to see the max 40 <laughs> fan club in the house yoshi there midnight stakes almost po poetic or could it be pathetic i'll let you guys be the judge of that but uh you know what i live as i please uh lewis looks like dj jesus christ jam of god i like that uh, thank you very much understand. visit hole with a generous two dollar super chat lewis you look great i like the the uh you know the youth look the youth look there i'm liking the facial hair also we've got a great look at the facial hair on display here let's go to the youngest member of the look at that not a gray hair in sight fantastic this is well the longest it's there. been in a long time oh, but like yeah it. if my my facial hair ever does get gray then i want to look like rafi because rafi is the most handsome man in Fragcom. <laughs> i want to look like him like, well, that's a lovely link because I'm going to him next. Thank you. Nice, nicely played there, Rafi. I like that. That's very good. Very distinguished. Do you always have nice. it that way, Thanks, or do you Lewis. do you mix it up a bit? Uh, sometimes I slip when I shave, so it, it does change from time <laughs> okay. to time. And right. uh, yeah, and it doesn't take long to do this. This is like you know maybe a few hours uh, for me. A few yeah. hours. Yeah, a few hours. 
Okay. Hey, uh, Lewis, uh, it's a really easy way to, to get these greys is, you know, have kids. That, that'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take your advice and ball. <laughs> yeah. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Your own. Okay. Yeah, just not, not anyone else's. Just don't, just, don't, just don't, like, snatch kids off the street. That's not what I meant. Like, I said, <laughs> yeah, you're spending any time around kids, whether they're your own or not. Well, 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 yeah, it's put, put a few years on me in a relationship I was uh, in once, but we'll move swiftly on from that. JJ, uh, you've mixed it up a bit. You used to be famous for the Tash, uh, but now it's uh, getting more on the, the, the lower area of the face. Uh, is, is there a, the uh, lower uh, area? Uh, yeah. like we're going to say the lower area in general. <laughs> yeah. no, I'm not showing the <laughs> lower area that, that frequently on these live yes. streams. Thank goodness. Not even down um, here. Um, <laughs> I can stand to lose a few pounds. No, I, yeah, I'm, I'm more famous for just, you know, my general Charlie Brown bobblehead head, you know? <laughs> I do, I do miss the Tash, actually, a bit. But, uh, no, it looks great. Fantastic, guys. Okay. And, uh, guys, I've had mine for a fair while. Let, if, let me know if you want me to go back to the clean shape. Someone told me I looked scruffy the other day or too old. So maybe I should go back. I don't know. Think of the – yeah, you shave it off. It's gone. grows back in a week or two. No big deal. Okay, let's keep going, guys. Loving the comments here. We are on Chanel night. You've got some great recommendations. So Lewis has come in with a fantastic – uh, a good old one too, because they're con contrasting. The number two, twenty-two EDP, a reissue of an old one in the fancy pants range. Uh, you know the the exclusives, and of course the classic. You can still buy today, and I got to tell you guys, the modern version still smells absolutely sizzling. And Lewis made a great point. Sometimes you've lost the top notes. You may love the way the vintage bottle that you buy on eBay smells, but it probably doesn't smell how it smelt if you bought it fresh in the shop in nineteen eighty-five or whatever. So you know, don't think. And I, my experience. Chanel, I feel don't not that I've tried all these different ages to, to know. I feel they don't mess up their reformulations too bad. I think they're always really, really beautiful. So, um, yes. yeah. All right, Agreed. let's go. Yeah. So let, we'll, we'll get more thoughts from the panel on that. I'm going to keep dropping people's links. We've got the drawn out sense. The new, new name for what used to be I am Lewis is now maybe more. Uh, topical to what he actually does on the channel. I like what you did there. Easier it's called to find. Out. Easier to uh, find. If you yes. type that in on YouTube, you can find yeah. it now. It was Whereas like being called I'm John Lewis Smith, like, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There was like okay. one guy with four subscribers, one guy with two subscribers, all the same we name. Yes, drawn out sense. You will find that if you search for it. You can also go to the link in the chat. Go for it. Uh, Mr. Clean with a bit of positive affirmation there for me. I need that. I need support. Mr. Clean with a $2 super chat. Really appreciate the super chats. Keep those coming. They are the fuel on which this live stream engine runs. And remember, there's always a few people who hate my guts watching, and they really hate it when you super chat me. So remember that. Let's keep positivity in the community. We've got great guests here giving their time for nothing, imparting amazing knowledge. Let's keep positive, guys. Mr. Clean, $2 super chat. Dan, you are owning that beard. Keep it up. Thank you very much. And I know we had a bit of fun about the Alex lunchbox gate, but you know, if you're going to have drama, I think, you know, nobody died. I think, I think he'll recover. Everything is good. It's all good. The lunchbox gate. I, I think that's within acceptable limits of good drama guys. Okay. We must be, be weird if you Jay. didn't own your beard. I, just to, yeah. I know somebody else is this bloke down the road. Yeah. He's, he's wondering what happened to his beard. And uh, yeah. I feel so kind good. of, uh, yeah. you do, you're, <laughs> not, you're not owning your beard. What, what's it doing on your face? Well, <laughs> Good you would have to, it's a fair question yeah yeah there's this bloke down the road he's, yeah he's wondering what happened yeah um well on that note we'll go back i think think forget if i get the order wrong you know i'll, I'll we'll even it up uh by the next round but i think it must be back to actually it might, it might be my no, turn you. in a minute but actually I, it's you well actually it's i guess you, it is me. you need yeah. to do your own dan i need to throw the chat amongst the pigeons at this point because you need uh, to it's own, my, your own, uh, <laughs> own your own own yeah. I'll tell you what, Sorry, uh, it's too early it is my live stream, actually. Yet. I am in charge of this stream. I, 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 in fact, I'm the boss. I'm in charge here. If you don't like it, you can fuck off. Okay? You don't like it, you can fuck off. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry. 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 Not I love guys. the way he okay. says it. That was because <laughs> someone complained. It. Oh, yeah, he's very good. He, he, ha he He's back to his old self because he's been sulking for a week after getting robbed and he's just been eating ice cream on the street, stream and it's sort of everyone else has had to carry it. <laughs> yeah. He is now, he got very angry yesterday. Somebody told him he shouldn't be taking phone calls on the stream and uh, he said, if I want to fucking take a phone call, then I'll take it. Anyway, back to the matter in hand. This is going to cause controversy. I'm not saying it's one of the top 10. Maybe it doesn't make the list. What do we think about Platinum? Egoist, not Hell loved by some. No, no. Hell to okay. Platinum no. gate. Platinum <laughs> egoist gate. All right. I'm just going to because there's say only that I... room for one. The egoist. Well, okay, egoist. okay. 
<laughs> I'm even I now I'm, I'm failing to convince myself that it's included, but I, I'm just going to try. It is a fantastic freshie. I think I know people hate it. Greg from the Greggy Boy 76, who loves his old school fragrances, loves most of the other Chanel's, doesn't like it. It has this, I think it's kind of a dihydro mercenol centric thing. Maybe their answer to things like cool water or even green Irish tweed. It has a metallic soapy semi barber shop thing. Modern things such as Maison Margiela's at the Barbers and even Le Barbier de Tonger from MDCI have similarities and could be described as niche versions of this thing. As I'm such a barber shop fan and I like my clean, fresh, soapy fragrances, I do think it's lovely and I think it's really good. But a lot of people disagree, so I'm going to get. I'm, I, I, and I hope you do disagree because we want disagreements. JJ, what is your? You said hell to the no. So there you go. Hell to the no. Can you expand uh, on that? It's quite, so expand on that. quite nice, but by no means is it a Chanel classic. By no means. So if we only have 10 slots. There's yeah. just no room. Maybe if we try for a top 20, maybe. Yeah, I guess if it was 10. if it was just it, men's releases, it might have a, a slight chance to scrape in. Oh, yeah. But it, to that be honest, with you, even down. I... Yeah. Even I kind of think it's not worthy of a top 10, but what does Rafi think? Any chance for this one? Nope, not at all. Well, not that's me. a straight answer, straight answer. I'm sorry to Platinum Egoist fans. Uh, Southeast Maniac, do you have a thought on Egoist Platinum? I tried it recently at Harrods on the strip. That's as much as I did, so I've only tried it once. I thought it was really pleasant, really pleasant, but it kind of lacked a wow factor that I would say the original has and that the others have. So this yeah. could make your list if you really enjoy the smell. But if we're going to think of it objectively in what is like the top 10, it may not stand out as much as some others. I have to agree. Even me, who's the one trying to advocate for it, I, I have to agree. It's not quite, it's, it's, it's not quite as remarkable as some other Chanel's. Okay. Hello. Hola, mi amigo Dan. Hello, Marcel's Blends. Great to see you in the chat. How are you doing? Is Lovely to have you in the chat. There. Is this the uh, we have famous YouTuber with a <laughs> send of the Marcel. day. Uh, 1981, New York, Dark and Taeus. Fantastic. Uh, what a classic. That's uh, Duncan, the famous YouTuber, I think, uh, is the name, isn't it? Hello. Uh, okay, guys, let's keep going, guys. We need super chats. Keep them coming. Keep hitting me with the super chats. We are back to JJ Colburn for your next selection, please, from the great house of Chanel. I'll be right back in two seconds. JJ, the floor is yours. Great. Here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Coco. Oh, the puff oh, the Yes. <laughs> Coco. Beautiful. Released in 1984. This is an amber spicy. I will avoid using the O word. Um, and this was a Jacques Polge, clovey, rosy, peachy, powdery, ambery, sandalwoody, um, resinous. It's just gorgeous. It's a classic. It belongs in the top 10. I rest it my belongs. case. It belongs at number one, in my opinion. It is the it is it is the classic most it's the epitome of what you would associate Chanel as a brand with that yeah. smell. It's it's a it's like an it's like a yeah. yeah like it's everything to all people at all at once. Yeah, and the other parfum, um, I've only got a tiny bit left of it, but uh, it's my favorite mm -hmm. Chanel of all time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Easily. definitely in the top. You smelled this one, uh, Lewis? Yeah, I tried that one also, and I agree with what you guys are saying. It's, it's so fantastic for both men and women alike, and it's Absolutely. it's just a Chanel smell. It smells like a, it mm -hmm. smells like a Chanel. Like yeah, said, opulent, opulent. Yep. Yeah, yes. I'm, I'm a big fan of cloves anyway, so this this doesn't me this does it for me. too. Oh my god, am I? I love the taste. I love the smell. I love everything about cloves. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we've just been yes. gushing over Coco Eau de Parfum while you've been. All right. Yes. So, yeah. Uh, Are you going to be like the odd one out that says it's no. it's not that good? 
I'm not going to be the odd one out, I don't think. Uh, I'll just catch up with a little bit of housekeeping there. Great super chat. Thank you to Raid. I hope I'm pronouncing that uh, correctly. That's a, a, a Norwegian crown. 22 super chat. Thank you, Dan. What's your opinions on Diaghilev? When I briefly tried Roger Diaghilev, I, I have loved it, but I'd ha- I really is ages ago, so I'd have to revisit it to give you a proper answer. But from what I hear, it's really one of the ones that's probably, if I get one more Roger, that will probably be the one to go for that or danger so thanks for the great question i really appreciate that raid and the generous 22 north korean crown super chat by the way mr clean and or uh martial's blends if you want to hop on i'll drop the link there and uh if either of you two guys you know uh, mr clean you seem to have discluded yourself from the vintage nights although i'm sure you can add something if you ever feel like it but no pressure okay yes i even have this uh, mine's the odor toilette um but i'm i think we can sort of say that the smell is along very similar lines. It's one of those ones where it sort of is a richer interpretation of the same scent. Uh, and I think it's absolutely great. I think it's a slightly old bottle because it's got, I believe if Eau de Toilette is written above the word Chanel, that's a, a, an older era. Can't tell you more it's than that. It's a good that, vintage. I, I believe so. It's beautiful. I uh, missed what you described there, but it's got this kind of powdery, almost waxy quality about it, a little bit of mm. sweetness, mm. very floral. Is it, is it aldehydic? I think it's aldehydic. Am I right to it's say it's a bit it's of aldehydes, for sure. There's a bit of lift to those top Wonderful. notes. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it is really special, actually. And, uh, yeah, easily up there with any of my men's releases from the house, I've got to t- say, yes. Yeah, uh, what I remembered right. about that one also Lewis. is that... Um, my dad found a vintage of that one and he gave, gifted it to my sister. So the vintage was my Lovely. sister's signature scent for quite a while. She just used, I think it was, she just used to pour it on herself. She loved it. So yeah, mm-hmm. I do have like associations with that one also. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this this vintage bottle certainly stood up well. Still smells amazing. Fragrance with Amy. Yes, Coco. I love it. Thank you so much for the comment there. Yeah, it's going to get some big... I think I think that this has got a great chance to get in our top 10. Uh, which one is it? I can't see it. So uh, I'll just... Uh, mine is the Eau de Toilette, uh, but JJ there has, has brand... So this is the Eau de Toilette version. Uh, but JJ has the Eau de Parfum. Uh, yeah, and we've, it looks like similar eras, if not exactly the same. Yes. JJ, would you would you say you heavily favour one over the other of the the EDP or the EDT? I, I prefer the the opulence of the Eau de Parfum. Eau de Parfum. So it's, you took the words right out of my yeah. mouth, man. Yeah. Uh, I like, it's like I prefer. Uh, yeah. It's just like I prefer Shalimar Eau de Parfum as well. Some people are like, oh, that's a little too much for me. Bullshit. Yeah. I love when it's just <laughs> so over the top. I love it. Give it that's to me. Well, yeah. That's me. Yes. I, 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 I can't do the Eau de Parfum of Shalimar. No. Yeah. Oh, but, you but can't do the Eau de Parfum? Easily. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Way too masculine for me. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We had a couple of comments there. What Shents, New York, twenty-one. Nice to see you. Just tuning in. Send of the night is uh, send of the day rather is Ellie Saab's essence number six vetiver. Not familiar with that one. Thanks. Great to see some people crossing over from the wristwatch community. There, Coco is Antaeus' wife. The perfume temple. Alex says, uh, "Yeah, absolutely correct." There, uh, Dan Reed Raid super chat. If I missed one, I'm very sorry, uh, but I think I may have caught up with it. I think I just missed it temporarily. I think I've got them all now. And we've got a new guest. Uh, yeah, we're up with the Super Chats. Guys, keep those Super Chats coming. We desperately need those. And um, here we go. Just a quick reminder there of a fabulous tune that I recorded. We're bringing one more fantastic guest. Oh, think twice. Because if you Super Chat me now, that would be very nice. Oh, think twice. Because if you Super Chat me now, Super Chat Paradise. Moving song there Touch. about the hard the hardship suffered by a lonely YouTuber while other people go about their business around him. Here we go, Martial's Blends. How are you today? Super How's it going? Paradise. I need that song in my life. By the way, is this thing on? <laughs> <laughs> Hi everybody. Vincent hey Marcel, nice how are you doing? So far, so fragrant. Can't complain too much. Can't complain too much. I wanted to hop on and say hi, chit chat with you guys for a little bit. 
I have somebody coming in a half hour to get their hair done, but I'm going to be here. I'll hang out with you guys if it's okay for like the next five, seven minutes. Wonderful. It's always wonderful to see you there. Okay. Do you have any strong opinions on anything you desperately want included in the Chanel list here, Martial? Um, Blue de Chanel. What? Okay. Controversy. Uh, is, no, don't, kick me out. don't kick me out. Wait, don't kick me out. <laughs> Actually, are you serious though? Because that, that could be a fun debate. That could be a quick Can fun I tell you something? I love yeah. Blue de Chanel. Blue de Chanel for me. So it was 2016. My friend had purchased it when it came out. He wore it, didn't care for it, and it literally collected dust on his shelf. Along comes poor Martial, and I'm hanging out with him, and I'm like, dude, what is this? I, I wipe off, when I say dust, I mean I wipe off dust from it, and I spray it, and I heard a symphony. And I was like, this smells absolutely wonderful. I didn't know what the heck it was, because I was always the spicy guy. I always bought spicy fragrances. So I didn't know what this was. It was totally new, and I fell in love with it. And it started me repurchasing fragrances again. So I also fell in love with um, Prada, Luna, uh, Prada Luna Rosa, the original one that came out. It's just, it's really good. It's So for me, BDC is the EDT, right? The Eau de Toilette. For me, it's like, listen, People can hate it. People can say they're tired of it. And I respect their opinions. I don't try and change their opinions. But for me, Blue de Chanel, EDT, will forever be the king of blue fragrances. And the even though it's not the originator, the one that did it the best and everything else copied. All right. Um, now, let's debate that quickly then, um, because it's obviously a controversial choice. Yoshi, Yoshi, we need Eugene on this stream as Chanel is his forte. <laughs> he would be more than welcome if he's out there. Um, we got, yeah, obviously, I, I, now, I per Dan missed my super chat. I, I, I have got it now, though, haven't I there? Uh, if, if I haven't got that raid, let me know. But I think I've got all the super chats. If I've got, if I missed another one, do, do tell me. Um, okay, guys. So, and also great to see Gerard George in the chat there with the great comment. He likes the new super chat song. Thank I you so love much. it. <laughs> There's a whole verse to I'll I'll uh, yeah play the whole thing tomorrow. Okay, so if you want to hop on Gerald, that'd be great. Now my thing here, listen, whether you like it or not, for me it doesn't matter because I, I don't think it's old enough to be called. I obviously we're on classic fragrance night, okay? So for me, yeah, it, it doesn't really matter. I'm not like that strict about what we can talk about or not. I don't mind I think it's great that you raised it. But personally, um, you know, it's not old enough to be a classic. It 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 it's, right. uh, it is a, probably will become. A, I mean, you could easily call it a modern classic. I get it, uh, but it doesn't classic. come in to the category of classic fragrances. And the way that it smells is, is very much of today's time. It's a very modern kind of smell. So we're, I, I find it to be just okay. I'm not a huge fan, but I, I think it probably doesn't quite ca qualify just on on that grounds. Uh, any quick thoughts on what you guys think on the panel on Bleu de Chanel? It was my uh, signature scent for about a year i got nah, probably longer than that because i got through like maybe two or three bottles of it um oh. i feel like i had my time with it this it had it got like 15 or 20 compliments but i feel like if i was to wear it now it would be for other people and not myself because i i feel like i had my time with it and i'm like bored of it now i'm ready to move on um, but I agree with Marcio. I think it's it's good at what it was trying to do, what it, what it was setting out to do. And um, I hate Dior Sauvage, but I actually like Bleu de Chanel, so I can respect it. Yeah, Fine. I like that. I like the way you described it. That was. I'm gonna give you 100% props because that was probably the most uh, correct, authentic, and purest explanation of a person who loved Bleu de Chanel and no longer does. It, 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 it served its purpose. It was there for the time that it had to be there for you. And you've moved on. You know, it's like you broke up. It's, you know, when you break up with, with somebody and you, they were great, but they just weren't for you anymore. It's kind of like that. Blue de Chanel does become yeah. that for some people, you know? Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. So what we're trying to do here tonight, of course, is to find the t 10 top 10 classic Chanel's classic Chanel's. And, and just because of that adjective, I think it doesn't quite it could, it could well be one of their may already be one of their biggest uh, lucrative ones financially. But, uh, and, you know, if you if you did that, probably be right up there already, wouldn't it? Because it's so uh, it's so prolific. Out there. So ubiquitous, did they mention number say. five already? 
No, we're going to come to that one uh, undoubtedly. So let's get to some next picks. So I'm um, sorry if I've got muddled up about who's next. JJ, we, you just did the fantastic one that's almost a dead dead cert to get in, which is Coco. Lovely. So it must be back to Rafi for another selection from you, please, sir. Okay. Meanwhile, um, I'm dropping your until... link in the chat. Subscribe to his channel. Great channel. Yeah, do it. He's he's telling the truth. Um, <laughs> yes. So uh, up until recently, I would have uh, said uh, Ego East uh, would would have been here uh, as the pick, but I'm going to go with this one, which is Bois ah, Il. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this. Bois de Il. Il. Bois de Il. Bois de Il. Okay. Bois de so, Whenever you have an S before. Um, uh, a vowel, you can pronounce yeah. the S when it's before right. a de Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Merci, monsieur. So, <laughs> yes. So if, if, if you love egoist poem, then you will, I don't know, what's a stronger thing than, than love? You will, you will, I don't know, fall head over heels for this thing. This thing is, it, it's just got that little bit more. It's got a bit more sparkly. It starts off actually quite... Uh, masculine in my opinion, but then it dries down to something really soft. That sandal wood is is there and it's prominent as well. Um, and yeah, I, I just I just find that wow. Um, yeah, th this I, I'd wear this just for me and just to con constantly sniff myself. But yeah, I, I would wear um, egoist out if I'm going out. But um, yeah, I, I put this up there as the thing again. Um, right. 1920 something. Yeah. 26 oh, yeah. apparently 26, yeah 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 it's so uh, still around in the cool. les exclusives right it's it still, is it's yeah. it's it was absorbed one of the classics absorbed into the les exclusives and i i'm so envious that you have that lovely little bottle there. parfum yeah i'll show you actually oh, oh, oh. what why i'm where i'm pulling these things out of um i got this i saw this, it i saw i was yeah. like giddy when i yeah. saw that on instagram oh my god yeah. the little bottles yeah. that you got oh. let me just uh sorry i'll put you solo yeah. there just yeah show us yeah. that again sorry yeah fire it's, away yeah oh that's nice charming isn't it yeah leathery isn't sort that of great? Got all the yeah they're like un, untouched so yeah i've i've kind of dated them to like the the early 90s because it's got a barcode on on the actual box that it comes in so yeah yeah fantastic way to sort of get into it i made the mistake of putting uh, testing out queer, queer de Russi, uh on my arm before I went to bed one night this week, and it was just <laughs> it's like God. What's I hope no one, I hope my wife doesn't notice. But um, yeah, that it's was an interesting read. thing. Yeah, yeah. I have okay. um, a similar sort of box that kind of uh, folds outward with the presentation. For uh, I have a Jean Patou, my collection. Yeah. But, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it, it, yeah. That's another. Oh, uh, D D um, Dan, are you familiar with the Jean Patou? All the, the different Jean Patou fragrances. That's that's another round no, hole. Not a lot of them. No, we no. Should, I'm we not. should explore Jean Patou a little bit one of yeah. these nights. I think it would really fit into our Thursday yeah. nights. Yeah. Sublime was my favorite. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. And then there's Ma Liberté. Ma Liberté, the Eau de Parfum is gorgeous. Um, Moment Supreme. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, 1000 or Me. Me, uh, mm -hmm. the Eau de Toilette is, is a wonderful unisex these days. But I digress. We're back to Chanel. Back to Chanel. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we have to explore some patus, maybe. Uh, yeah, they were just discussing what's stronger than love because you were searching for a word. Yoshi coming in with a controversial view there. Stronger <laughs> than love is lust. You could argue that it can often override it, and that's he could be right there. That's why men love their wives, but still have a first. You know, in Spanish, point. in Spanish, there's a saying que la costumbre puede más que el amor, which is habit can do more than love so like you can love a person but if another person is your habit then you still love this person but you're gonna mess up because of the habit so habit yeah. can be stronger than love Discuss mm. in the chat guys we're going to drop the link for marcial's uh channel there marcial are, are we mainly just plugging the the hair one at the moment the hair channel main, for uh, now the hair, your, thank your, your, you dan your... i appreciate that the okay. hair channel He's for only, now that's... Uh, 36 away from a thousand let's get marcial over a thousand tonight and guys, i want to say to thank you dan uh, and thanks to the chat people thank you everybody i'm grateful 
Absolutely. I'm just trying to. I'm gonna. Oh dear. I'm, it doesn't want to let me do that. I'll come back and do it in two seconds. Sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Phantom. Marcel's blends hair. Uh, guys. Okay. So we're back to some more Chanel choices. Yeah. Uh, so st all right. Great choices so far. Just to give you an overview, because I'm not going to go mega mega long tonight. So we need to start thinking about our final choices here. Okay. We've got Queer de Rushi, um, Queer de Rushi, Gardenia, Cristal, Chanel Pomasseur, Bois des Eels, and Teus. I think I said Cristal, Coco, Coromandel, and number 22. So we've got some big boys to get in there. Antaeus, did I say Antaeus? Uh, a couple mm -hmm. that we need to explore, and I think we're going to come to a couple of the big ones that we've left out pretty damn soon. So it must be back to – I'm now confused as to who's next. I'm trying um, to point over, over here. Lewis. 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 Yes. Yes. Any more thoughts, please, from Drawn Out Sense, otherwise known as Southeast Maniac? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um – I don't ha I don't um, have a massive collection from Chanel, and this one is not a dead cert, and I'm not sure everyone's going to agree with it. But my personal, one of my personal favorite classics is 31 Rue Cambon, but mm. I've also only experienced this from the EDP. My reason that I rank it so high is because the patchouli is very has a lot of personality, and it's mixed with iris. So there's like floral touches, um, but the, the patchouli is very it borderlines and aggressive for me personally. Um, but it's it's a very interesting wear. Uh, men and women can wear it alike, and mm -hmm. um, a lot of times patchouli is used to give like a chocolatey vibe. And what I've noticed in a lot of them ones is you get the smell of the patchouli and you get a chocolatey vibe. But in this one, it's like I, I um, get the associations from those fragrances, but without the chocolatey touches. So the patchouli sort of whispers of other fragrances, but it stays very earthy and green, whereas others can go off quite sweet. So it's like a dark green, earthy, floral, unisex fragrance. Very interesting mm -hmm. to me, unique. All right, interesting. Now, this one, is this, because I'm just finding it as an Les exclusive from 2007. Was it an older release? or It was released in 2007 as part of the Les exclusive. Okay. So, so it would All be right. a modern classic. Okay. Very different from Blue de Chanel, but nonetheless, <laughs> modern classic. Okay. More, more <laughs> of an old, perhaps more of an old school smell, though. Yeah, that's probably why uh, I thought yeah. it was. I'm not familiar yes. on the day. Okay. So, yeah. All right, yeah, great. That's it, what happens. The twenties, the twenties. That for them, it's like it's classic for them, you know. For thirties and over, it's like it's, it's we know it. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Uh, Lewis is very good at uh, describing fragrances. Says, I love yes. uh, Mr. Clee. Absolutely is. true. I agree. I'm, uh, I'm just going to drop Martial's link. Okay, so good. good uh, we've got to get some heavy hitters in there soon. So there's a few elephants in the room that we haven't yet uh, talked about. So I might be asking you guys to feature those soon. But are we back to Rafi or JJ? I'm lost. Uh, um, I'm going to go to JJ. Mark... I'm just going to go to JJ. Okay. Martial, you only had one to, to contribute to. I didn't want you to be skipped, but you did just your one contribution, right? Yes, I mentioned BDC, and I asked about, um, I think it was uh, Mademoiselle. Okay. So mine, I have a bottle, but it is not with me. And... Uh, it's there's a picture on my phone. I don't know if that's coming up. That's that's my that's a picture of my baby ah, right here. That's and it's the one. still in storage. It is in a Net, temperature controlled Net. storage. Eau de toilette of uh, number nineteen Chanel. This will be in the top ten. This that has will to be. be in the top ten. It will be um, because it is one of my all time favorite Chanel's. And uh, this was released in the 70s. I got to remind myself exactly what year. So here I am frantically typing it in. Take your 1970, time. I believe. I think that actually Rafi is correct in his year. But yeah. let me just double check, bringing it up. Yep, 1970. And this is a green floral Shepra. A galbanum green. Um, so you have all those greenish kind of florals like hyacinth. Um, it's got iris. There's definitely an iris when you when it goes into the dry down. It has that um, that signature ylang ylang as well. Narcissus. It dries down mossy. 
irisy, powdery, leathery, musky, and it is gorgeous. So that is number 19, a certified classic, which will be in the top 10. Uh -oh. <laughs> if JJ it sent it, it's going to happen. will be in the top 10. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, I'm not saying I disagree, but I want the <laughs> other panelists' opinions. Any any strong views on number 19? Rafi, are you, uh, are you a fan of this one? This is probably one of, if not the best green fragrance I've ever smelled. And I, I don't, I don't have a, a full bottle of it and it definitely needs to join, join the club here as well in, in my collection. But um, yeah, I'm totally as smitten as JJ is about number 19. I, I do prefer it in the eau de toilette uh, guys. Some people uh, prefer the too. parfum uh, over it. I it prefer is, the eau de toilette quite, as well. Yeah, it, I find that it does green better in that concentration. Just, just my point of view, and it's just, it's, it's like a, I don't know. It's kind of, it, it doesn't project all that much. It's like a close and personal kind of thing. But it just really, uh, how, how do you put this? Like walking through like a green garden, and you know, all, all the, all, all the things that it's not sort of very, very, like it's not like you know, back to nature kind of thing. But it's a Chanel version of curated nature and greenness. And I think that this was um, this was like Chanel, like it was Coco's. It's the thing that she wore quite a bit. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure she wore this as her, like a like almost like a signature scent. Yeah, and and I and, and I think and I think that it would have suited her being you know because she was a bit of a hard ass, right? And so outspoken yeah. and quite a bit of a boss bitch kind of person you know, it's probably they, call like the this, they sometimes refer one. to it as, as a bitchy fragrance <laughs> well, can you imagine 1970s and this thing this thing rocks up you know and and yeah. women start wearing this like i'm like yeah man this is this is totally unisex for sure all right guys Easy. this looks this looks like a very strong contender here i'm just going to give you the actual uh, official note listing so we've got a 19 uh, that's 1970 correct me if i'm wrong uh perfume was also in 1970 they say when coco chanel was 87 years old but perhaps she was wearing it before that again it's uh henry robert the man behind so many of the old classics there from the mid 20th century and your official note listing at the moment on fragrantica goes green notes bergamot and neroli in the top middle notes of iris rose narcissus lily of the valley and Ylang Lang and base notes of oak, moss, vetiver, leather, and sandalwood. So, yeah, it seems this has a very strong case to be in. It's, I've written it in capital letters in my list. Uh, I think we won't split hairs if we include them, and there's an EDT or EDP. You can take your take your pick there, but it sounds like you guys, you, you lean towards the... Rafi, you were saying the EDT there, yeah? Yes. Okay, and I guess because it's a greener fragrance, that that's that sort of makes sense. Maybe you'd prefer the cocoa and the EDP, but the more fresh ones, maybe there's something to be said for the EDT concentration. Good calls, guys. Okay, listen, what I love here is we've got so many unisex or you know female marketed ones. We've finally broken out of our tendency that I have on the channel to only talk about men's fragrances. Chanel, so it's kind of it's kind of hard yeah. to do like a Chanel top ten classic men's thing because you know yeah yeah good. You know, they, are, they, are, they are secondary, really, in in in, in the, the the pantheon of of Chanel's. The, the the men's marketed ones are secondary. They're so sexist. So just go back. Yeah, I do try. I try to be sexist when possible. I will go back to Marcel's blends just for your thoughts on Coco Mamoiselle. Well. Before I do that, I just got to do a quick super chat there. And so we've got a very generous. Thank you, Anouj. By the way, hop on if you want Anouj. Very generous Canadian thirteen dollar ninety nine super chat. Thank you. I think Marcel's already said it, but Coco Mamoiselle is my personal all time favorite Chanel fragrance. Obviously, not a popular or cool choice but just my own personal attachment. Thank you so much for the generous Super Chat, Anusha. That's a perfect link to go to, Martial. And, uh, yeah, please make a case for why we might I want to include so this. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. Oh, you know you know why I uh, thought Mademoiselle? I had mentioned Chanel number no. 5 because a friend of mine found out I never smelled it, and she sent it to me for me to smell it, and I appreciate it, and I do love it. But Mademoiselle, so I have three uh, stepsisters, but I grew up, their sisters, right? So I have three younger sisters, and when I started doing fragrance, smelling fragrances and, and researching and enjoying it, they found out, and I says, tell me what fragrances each one of you want. So there are three. Uh, the oldest one is, like, almost 40. The other one is in her mid-30s, and the baby is, was, is in her 20s. She's still in her 20s. So the youngest one picked some Michael Kors uh, kind of fragrance, and then the other two picked um, Chanel. 
But the oldest one picked Mademoiselle. And I says, it's my first time hearing about it. Why do you like it? And she says, when I wear it, I feel like a boss bee, is what she says. She says she can walk into the office and do what she has to do, manage what she has to manage, and talk to whoever she has to talk to. And I was like, wow. So it just it it made me understand that, yeah, fragrance does have an impact on your energy and on your mentality and your, your internal feeling. So Mademoiselle. And then when I saw the price of it, I was like, I, I must really love my sister. Because <laughs> you guys know I will not give a small bottle. I have to give the biggest bottle I can find. And I was like, diantre, mira muchacha, tú me vas a romper la, la cuenta. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. Chanel, very much that house that you don't find discounted. They have a really strong policy on that, um, maybe yeah. along with Dior, but even more so uh, that you, you will occasionally get a store where they've done a whole store wide thing and they do include a small discount on the shelves. But yeah, this is, you know, unlike like your, three dollars off, maybe. <laughs> yeah, very yeah, limited discount. Only so they, 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 I mean, they've they've this is obviously a de deliberate strategy by that house to go for the high end of the market, unlike the YSLs and things where you will find them, especially older ones for cheaper prices. These guys really hold on to that prestige prestige uh thing about their brand uh sort of i guess reassuringly expensive it's, it's clever marketing got a couple of big super chats coming in so i want to say thank you so much super once chat. again super to chat. the wonderful anuj if you want to hop on the screen by the way there's obviously a guy with a, a knowledge of being in the industry which brings so much and we need a couple of we don't need but a, a female guest would be fantastic for a bit of balance there so if any, any ladies out there want to hop on say hello in the chat and uh i'll i'll put the link gonna hop on with that there. wig again <laughs> that was yeah that, that's close enough that's as close as i'm going to get i think tonight yeah. To, to, to yeah to a, a glamorous female guest so we've got a big super chat coming in here thank you so much really appreciate this wow um wow that's absolutely fantastic here we go mm. name and date of the new norton and wilson at minimum the date when you will announce it thank you for the incredibly generous 49 dollar 99 super chat i really really appreciate that i better give you something for your money then and i really appreciate it um i'll tell you what i'll i'll go i'll go close i'll go close okay it, it will be released in November. Uh, we just there's a little issue about when it arrives in the states and whether we pre we release it in the UK first just to sell it to the people we can ship it to, or whether we try and just hang in there till everyone's available, everyone can get it at the same time. So it's going to be out this month, which means in the next two weeks, basically. Okay, um, I can show you the box quickly because that's a very very generous super chat, and I do appreciate that, and it deserves something. Um, Good job, so, bro. It's Good job. Really that appreciate that. It is called Sheep for something. It is a Sheep for fragrance, Ooh. but I'll cover the other, the second word. Okay, it's a Sheep for something fragrance, and. Uh, I can show you the, the box there. So it's absolutely amazing. I'm going to be talking about it more very soon. I'll try and just before the end of the, I'll just very quickly grab the, the bottle. So I give you your money's worth, which I really appreciate the support there, Russ. Thank you for that generous super chat. Hold on. It's going to be called Cheap Norton. <laughs> yes. No, Everybody called... super chat your guesses. And uh, the one that, that, yeah. The closest, one, the closest one wins a free bottle. <laughs> That's it. And uh, yeah, you can chat your guesses. You quick flash. So it's called Sheep or Something, but I won't tell you the rest. That's uh, it. We came, uh, up with, we came up with Rappi a fundraiser. Came up, Rappi Rappi came up with an awesome idea. Check it out. Yes. Super chat your guess as to what the second uh, word is. In the, okay. in the, and and if, you can, if you get it right, you get a free bottle. I'll tell you what, I'll do that because there's no way they're going to get it right. But yeah, I'll do, absolutely super chat your guesses for the second name, or if you want to make, I'm sure there'll be some funny answers too, uh, and I will read them out. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you get it right, cheaper you get a free lunchbox. <laughs> cheaper lunchbox. That's a good one. <laughs> cheaper lunchbox. <laughs> Okay, oh, quickly, man. just to flash this one up so, then. The bottle looks in. like this, okay? Ooh. So, yeah. And by the way, it does not have a metal label. I tell you, because people are going to say, oh, you must have cut costs. It's the most expensive paper <laughs> we can possibly buy. The reason we have not, we're not going with a metallic label is because... Um, the metal labels that we use were very heavy and the bottle, the, the glass bottles that we use, it's very, very hard for them to attach firmly, even with the strongest glue imaginable. So we had a very small number of them did turn up to the customers ever so slightly, you know, on, not straight. So for practical reasons that it would have taken us another three months to get the right metal label that yeah. stuck with the right way. It's, we, we have gone with the most luxurious bottle we can possibly do, but the, at least the label... 
Yeah, I mean, it's good enough really for important. it's good enough for Creed. It's good enough for many other fantastic brands to have. You know, it's 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 you know, it's of a level of this kind of thing. Okay, so okay, I'm not. A, but it, honestly, it looks a little if, better than that one. I'll tell you that. Well, if you think if you think we're going to nickel and dime over saving one pound a bottle off off the label, honestly, it's it's not. It wouldn't be worth it. But anyway, so that, 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 there you go. That's the, the 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 thing. And thank you for the generous super chat. Okay, really, really, really appreciate that. Makes uh, makes the, the time I put into these a little bit more worthwhile for me. Uh, not that I do don't enjoy it. It's, Sheep press shaggers. Guys, I want super chats for these. That was quite funny, though. Thank you. Um, Okay. So, guys, here we go. Let's move on back to the topic. Thank you to that gentleman, Russ Johnson. You're the star of the night. Okay. Guys, uh, Chanel's. Uh, who's not had a go yet? If I, I, you know, if I miss someone out, I don't do it deliberately. So, Marcio, I've done the Coco. Rafi, I think it might be just back. Is it back to maybe me? And then I'm going to I'm gonna move towards a conclusion here because I know we could back go another then. hour. And Yeah. Huh? I said back to you, Dan. It's back to me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So I don't think we've made the official case anybody yet because Rafi touched on it and then said, now, but I prefer. So I, I would say this is a strong contender, of course, Egoist. Okay. Originally released as Bois Noir in 1987, one of the great uh, compositions for men from Jacques Polge. Uh, the Bois Noir didn't take off at all. And to be frank, I don't think Egoist was a commercial success, which is why they did Platinum Egoist, uh, which was, I think, commercially much more successful. Anyhow, it's regarded as one of the finest sandalwood for fragrances you can get it has a beautiful creamy sandalwood accord i don't know if it's some kind of captive uh, ingredient or whatever type of sandalwood they use but it's it's fantastic it has a kind of citrusy a little bit of a citrusy opening with i think mandarin oranges listed and brett seed is in there a little bit of a spice mixture of sandalwoods subtle spices a hint of fresh freshness and a, and a hint of sweetness it's just magical stuff it's to me, a, a true masterpiece. I was going to say modern masterpiece, but I, I, by which I mean 1990 to me is a little bit more modern than these 50s and 30s ones. Absolutely stunning. 11 out of 10 fragrance for me. Uh, I'd, I'd be hard-pressed to leave it out, although I think this list will lean towards the, the ones that are marketed as women, uh, towards women. They, they're not marketed as women. They're, they're just fragrances, but towards women to wear them. Guys, what do you think about Egoist? Uh, I'm actually fascinated to know because I, I think this one's close to getting in. But I'm not sure it necessarily will. JJ, what can you say about that? I'd say it could be a contender. It, it would at least yeah. be an honorable mention. Um, this will be tough because I already put down what I would consider my top 10 and I couldn't fit it in. Like, Or I'm kind of back and forth between that and another one. But I think right. that it it's deserving of a place up there. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think you'll find few people uh, d d not agreeing with you that it's at least close to being worthy. Thank you, Mega Ren, the bit of supportive comment there. Just joined Dan's latest comment, but especially his super chat version of Phil Collins another day in paradise made me cry. Hopefully, with with laughter, not not just exasperation and and and, and infuriation. But either way, hi everyone, good day, Yo, Raffi from my office in Hastings, Victoria, mate. Is that near where you are? Yeah. Or, you're or right, you're right. Uh, no, it's it's not it's not that close. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm like in this in the southeast suburbs somewhere. So, yeah. Good day. Good day. All right. Fantastic. Really appreciate the support there. And uh, guys, okay. So uh, I'll go you know around the room. Uh, said, yeah, Marcio. Yeah. So egoist. It's, I don't have too much experience with Chanel, but I have a lot of experience listening to people talk about Chanel, right? And so yeah. that that so I immediately appreciated and recognized Rafi's reaction to number 19 because that's been every single person I've spoken to or seen uh, when they talk about 19 that's their reaction like I haven't heard a single negative thing about 19 and then when it comes to Ego East what I always hear is that it's the kind of fragrance that you have to be you have to have strong character. If not, it will wear you. That's one of the things I've heard of Egoist. The other thing I've heard is that, yes, its name is appropriate because it's selfish, right? Egoisto, it's selfish. It's a very selfish fragrance. You wear it for you, not for somebody else. So uh, when I heard it come up, immediately I thought, if it's not top 10, it's going to be an honorable mention because of the way I've heard at least 17 people describe Egoist where they say it's not for everybody, you wear it for yourself. So that's why I think yep. it, should, it, deserves a, it, deserves, it deserves a number one spot in the honorable mentions. 
All right, that's one opinion. That's a, yeah. Take, well, at least you've given us a clear opinion. I, 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 I think it probably should get into the list, but I want to know what Lewis and then Rafi thinks. Let's go to Lewis. I feel we didn't hear enough from you in the last couple of minutes. Lewis, in or out with egoist, or would you in, in out or shake it all about? <laughs> um, I don't have a massive amount of experience with it, but like Marcel said, people love it. So every time I've been to Harrods, I've made a conscious effort to spend some time with it. And I've literally had it on a strip and I've been standing there for like two minutes just trying to understand it. And um, from what I can understand, it's really nice. Kind of reminded me of Christmas for whatever reason. I remember tobacco standing out, maybe cinnamon. Um, but it's definitely... Yeah, I, I, can, I, can I can see that. I can see that. Yeah, yeah I want to get it on skin and maybe even fall in love with it. But anyway, guys, I'm, I'm going to dash. I was only going to stay Lewis, thank minutes. you so much. It was really great. I always say, even if you can only hop on briefly, and actually you were here for a bit, it's it's so appreciated. And we'll hopefully, I think we'll hopefully see you, if not tomorrow, when you're also welcome, but maybe Saturday when you're a bit of a regular, if we can bend your army. Yeah, Are you probably around Saturday, do you think? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Look, okay, yeah. I'll keep in touch because we've got some fun themes, including a possible new game show of Celebrity Squares, in which you, you may be one. You may be one of the celebrities, or you may end up being the contestant. Exciting times ahead. Okay, thank you to the wonderful Lewis. Go and check out Drawn Out Sense. Great Have a great night. Yeah, Cheers, Lewis. Right, Lots Lewis, of love. Take okay. care. All right, so welcome back, JJ. And um, we're just concluding the, the debate then. So I'm, I'm in favour of putting Egoist in. Uh, Rafi, you, yeah, well, you mentioned you actually raised it and then moved on to Boada Ill. So, where are you at with Egoist? Uh, obviously, it's you, you. Oh, Marcel, does that mean you're leaving? Yeah, I love okay, you. Okay, thank you to Marcel right? Spence. I'll, I'll yeah. drop the link for his channel one more time. Great guest. Thanks thank for your you. input. We love you. See you at the weekend, love Marcel. You I hope. Bye, everybody. You got Bye, it. Marcia. You got it. I'll, I'll message you personally. Take care. <laughs> Uh, Marcel's blends. Uh, JJ's back. By the way, hit hit the um, subscribe button for these guys if you haven't. JJ's got a sensational channel, all including guys. I want you to be aware. Every Tuesday, he has a fantastic live stream, which is seven p.m. Central Time, Eastern Standard Time, seven p.m. Sorry. Um, mm -hmm. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m., and some fantastic guests on there each week. So go and check it out. I know people are getting into their – they need their live stream fixes, and yours is a great one to check out. Prime Time Tuesday night viewing for you guys. Go and check them out, and if you subscribe, then uh, hit all those notification bells, and you won't miss any of them, will you? Okay, fantastic. Okay. Um, yeah, Rafi, sorry. I just want your final word then on why Chanel's Egoist is, is a little bit maybe not as preferable for you as the Bois des Îles. Uh, look, I gotta be completely honest with you. Yeah. Um, I think, I think it does, it does deserve its place in there. It does because otherwise it'll be just too leaning in the one True. gender direction. Um, I agree. And I, yeah. I, and I think, yeah. yeah, the, the aldehydes maybe might scare away some people in, in Bartizil and I don't mind it, um, uh, personally, but like for, for some people, this is probably more of a, I, I I see a pinstripe suit with a carnation and uh you know and like a like a real distinguished sort of the the rose and the sandalwood and the rosewood and and everything in here is just fantastic. Even though I'm not a fan of rose, this just does it really well. It's it. I don't have a top ten Chanel list because they don't go that high for me. I probably have like a top five, and this is in it. So yeah, and I haven't had like the longest experience with Bartizil, but so far I'm like super impressed with if, if this reminds you of something, um, then it's this. So if you liked this, then this is probably like a, a more complex, complex and uh, interesting version of, of Egoist. But uh, right. yeah, this can stand on its own. Right. And I think it does deserve a place. Um, yeah. My cool. I would agree that okay. Boadizil is a progenitor to mm. um, uh, Egoist. There's a direct okay. lineage, I think, between the two. Yep. Okay. Uh, the, just wanted to mention then the Paul Monsieur Eau de Parfum. I, I think it's kind of a bit different to the EDT. So do we feel this is worthy of sort of giving its own consideration let's put it that way because uh, i i think it's separate to the edt i, I get i'm thinking it might struggle to make the top 10 of all time but yeah. what do you guys honorable think? mention i think it would be yeah. a, a good honorable mention mm -hmm. yeah I, I tend to agree rafi do, do you have a, a different opinion on that one at all yeah 
Yeah, on an honourable mention. Uh, since I guess. you didn't, yeah, you know, great. Yeah, I didn't really. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> All right, we can, I don't think that one's getting in the list. I think it's time. I think this list will almost write itself because there, there are so many that just have to be in there. Just briefly, we haven't yeah. gone into it. We're, I'm going to wind this. Hey, yeah, yeah. There, there will be um, heaps. We'll be here for everyone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're yeah, going to write. We're going to yeah. go two hours and then we're done. And for what it's worth, we can always come back and do part two. Okay, so Chanel number five. Nobody mentioned it. I guess it inevitably doesn't it have to go in really. It Chanel has to be. I, yeah, it does have to be in there. I, I, okay. I mean, even though it isn't one of my favorites, you can't deny it. It just would seem weird to leave out the most iconic one. So, you and I think there's wrong. room for it. I okay. in the top ten that I wrote down. Yeah, go on. There's room for it. Go for it. <laughs> uh, okay, let's. Uh, nobody mentioned Chance and Allure. Too bad. Yeah, both both very interesting yeah. fragrances. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Interesting, yeah. yeah. Allure, Allure right. was on, on my list. The original, oh, okay. Not Allure pour homme, but the original uh, Allure. Allure. For me. Okay, well, Rafi, just, just make a quick yeah. case for that one. Are you saying it might actually be worthy of a top 10 or just an honorable mention, or what do you think? I think so. Like, it's a it's a really uh, – it, it's not – it doesn't, like – it doesn't hang back to like ye oldy nineteen twenties era Chanel. It's it's a it's a more right. modern thing. I think it came out like 1990, 1999, maybe, yeah. Just like on the cusp, right? Um right, yeah. and it's one of those ones where if you if you sprayed it on, if you tried it on, or every note just comes at you at the same time. Um, but you need to give it a chance, and if you let it sort of dry down, it was uh, it was absolutely beautiful. I did I did go through a, a full bottle of that. Um, back in the day as well, and I remember it being fantastic. So the mm. I think Allure maybe deserves a spot. But again, like if you've been going since like the twenties, you've got a very very large catalog of things to choose from. And right. uh, yeah, so we could be here forever. So we could wrap yeah, this okay. up now. Oh yeah, I'm just checking that I've got everything that I wanted to say said here. Yeah, I think I have. Okay, yeah, that's all the ones I had on uh, listed. Okay, let's do it then, and just you know, it doesn't matter if we get it wrong. But okay, so Chanel f number five, yes, definitely. Let us know how you guys think in the chat there. Uh, I'll go down the list. Gardenia. Not. It's it's, I don't think vote. it's a definite yes, is it? Or okay, go on. No, you guys. On honorable mention. I would say it, it deserves an honorable mention. I, I had yeah, it here as an honorable mention. We may return yeah. and put that one in, but there, there may be 10 that we all agree have to go in. Number 19. Yes. Yes. Definitely. I don't know it, but based on what I've heard, I, I think yes. So that's two that are already in. Okay. You'd like uh, it, I reckon, man. I think, like I think you would. Yeah. I think you would like it. Yeah. I have so much to learn when it comes to female marketed fragrances. Uh, Chanel Pour Monsieur. I mean, to, to, to level it out for an, a men's fragrance, yes. Because if we didn't, if we didn't have it, we would have very few. We only have two others, really. Honestly, out of everything, that I agree. We, Rafi, yeah. you may have a different opinion. I don't care. It's like, yeah. Are we are we sending this list to Chanel and they're going to color everything? No, it's else? not legally. This is not, this is not legally binding. I'll put oh, it as okay. a strong, a strong probable, but not unanimous. Yeah. Let's put it that way. We'll go quickly then. Bois de Ziels. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Fine. I don't know it, but based on you guys raving so much, let's go with that. So we've got four that are probably in. And Teus. Has to be in there. Come it has on. to be in there. Think, yeah. You know, I don't yeah. like it, but but I do. I, I, it has to be in there. I don't. I'm not right, a so big fan of it. About that. I agree that it has to be in there, guys. Hit us with a quick super chat. Uh, give us another super chat if you want to just uh, get a, get your point in. You just got a few minutes to do so before we wrap this bad boy up with the conclusion. Uh, thank you for the generous one there earlier from Russ Johnson. Okay, so Antaeus is in Crystal. It can be in there. It can be in there because it is, it is, yeah, you can't deny that it's a classic. Um, Rafi? It gets my vote, but we have a few more to go over. We'll narrow it down mm. once we get through the rest. All but right. I say Rafi, yes. Chris, all yep. right, Rafi, Crystal. Yeah, probably in, but let's see. Okay, Chanel Coco. I think that's 100% uh, for me. 100%. That's at number one. Okay. Yeah. That's at number one. <laughs> at least we know that one's in. Uh, Coromandel. That's at number two. <laughs> Um, my only my only reservation is that it was released within the past fifteen years. If we're mm. going by that modern classic, absolutely yeah. honorable mention. 
Yeah, I'm going more, more honourable mention. So I think that's more of a maybe. I don't. I'm not sure. Uh, okay, number Love twenty-two. It, number twenty-two EDP. It's really good. Um, what about you, Rafi? Mm. You have mm. a little bottle there. You're kind of yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah, I, know. I don't think that one's quite going to scrape in. To be honest, with no, you. But, it's not going right. to quite make it. Yeah. So Thirty-one Rue de Cambon sounds great, but I think it's too uh, modern for my. I don't think we can quite say that really goes in the classic it, it's, classics. It it was released in two thousand seven, so if you know if that's a factor, then nah, yeah, I don't think so. Okay, we've got a bit of space left at the moment. Uh, I think you've got a list that you you would stand by there. Uh, maybe Ooh, uh, you're, JJ, you're forgetting uh, queer queer, queer de Russi. Okay, queer de Russi. Are we all with that one then? Yes. Yes, I think so. Uh, Can you about imagine Egoist? that in like the twenties? That was like ridiculous. It was, it's like this clean, dirty animal. It went animalic mm. on me. The the leather. It was yeah. just. And it's like a wash dog. <laughs> it has like a really nice status. one. <laughs> yeah. No. You, 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 you're right. I, I fucking think love it. Yeah. It, it's, it, it, it's, it's, it's a bit addictive, well. right? Yeah. It it, it's a bit addictive. And you know what? You know what? If you've ever had a chance to smell, um, and Dan, you probably have this close by. Um, Roja Dove's got this line called Pierre de Valet, right? And the mm -hmm. story is that he found some book and it had some uh, some formulas of old fragrances in there. People think that it's Guy Roberts' old old fragrances, oh, okay. and he's just done them as per that and done the Roja thing and uh, created a whole line. And one of them is number forty-seven. And I think that it's his take on Queer de Russie, if you've smelled the two. Right. They're extremely, extremely similar. Mm. Yeah. It's he like a high-definition take on Queer de Russie, yeah. He does have a habit of doing I those haven't had the things. distinct pleasure of smelling 40, number 47. Yeah. I mean, right. I, I don't – it's not like I've got, like, bottles of the shit. I've got, like, the little um, sample packs in the little two-mil spritzes. So I've been – that was my favorite out of the bunch so far. And uh, and when I smelled Quidrus, I was like, yes, I, I kind of know why. It's – yeah. He does that. He, right. And it's good. You, you kind of stand on the shoulders of giants and, 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 do, some, and do something, like, more – High definition. Yeah, uh, hats off to him. So I, 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 you know, huge fan of Scandal Parfum Parom uh, here. So yeah, and I know that takes some cues from apparently from Eau Sauvage by by Dior. But yeah, okay, uh, let's try and finalise this. So uh, my mm -hmm. top ten might look something like this at the moment: number five, number nineteen, Poor mm -hmm. Monsieur, if you'll let me. Uh, number four, no particular order: Bois des Ills. Number five, Antaeus. Number six, Cristal. Number mm -hmm. seven. Coco, mm. number eight, Coromandel, number nine, Queer de Rossi, and number 10, Egoist. But have I left something out? I'm completely happy to discuss this. Uh, JJ, you maybe have a slightly different list in front of you. Talk to me. So, so we, we we made sure that there's Egoist, right? We, we, did. Made sure there's we did. Okay, so, so far here, I have a 10th one that is open. And Coromandel, I thought we were putting that as a, an honorable mention just because of its... Ah, um, no, sorry, no. Yeah, yeah, we've got nine. My list is nine. Coromandel's right. not making it. You're right. So I'm at one nine as well. Maybe. So I have number 19, okay. Bois d'Azile, Puy de Russi, number five, Coco, Antaeus, Pour Monsieur, Cristal, Egoiste. My 10th one yes. was number 22. However, uh, Rafi was so gracious to allow Pour Monsieur, so I am thinking... And this might be a kind of a, a, a controversial one for some people who may have uh, a certain opinion on it. But out of the ones that I have listed on the side that are not that are not honorable mentions, I have Gardenia. Yeah, so, Rafi, it's between yeah. Gardenia and number twenty-two, I think we should give give Gardenia. Yeah, I think it's like a feel? really lovely, delicate white floral that. Will will just do you justice in in summer as you okay. sort of waft along and you know and, and enjoy. So okay, yeah, I think it's it, as we speak. All right. Yeah. So I, I think I, I think it's it's overlooked. It doesn't really get that much that much attention or that much talk or, or anything like that. So if you do get a chance to to smell it, try and try and smell it. Yeah. All right, loving it. Uh, and we're nearly there then. So just to clarify, we're leaving out number twenty two. Yes. Um, yes. Or they yes. could be tied. Or they could be tied. 
<laughs> we'll, we'll do Gardenia. We'll do, we'll do, we'll do a follow up. Let's do a follow up list. We'll do part two maybe next week. Okay. So the, yes. I think we've got the same list in front of us now, JJ. If you agree yeah. with what we've just said there, if you can just list what we've said, I think it will tie up with what I'm about to put in the chat. Go for it. Hey, jo Joao is so, here as well. Uh, Creed Rusi, uh, we've done. I'll just we say, uh, list. Um, Scented Moments, great to here. see you in the chat. Welcome, welcome. Scented Moments, Quidderacy did indeed inevitably had to be uh, in the thing. If you want to hop on and say a quick hello and goodbye, because we're going to close down soon, please do. I'll drop the link. Uh, great part of the community there, and yes, indeed. So, uh, JJ, uh, let's wrap this up with what I think is our conclusive 10 in no particular order. Absolutely, in no particular order, the top 10 that we've decided upon tonight is number 19, Gardenia. Bois d'Azil, Queer de Russi, number five, Coco, and Teus, pour Monsieur Cristal Egoist. 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 How did I did say you, it? Yeah. Did you say number 19? You did, didn't you? I did at the very top. Number yep. 19. Oh, that's our perfect. 10. Yep. I think that's 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's, for what it's worth, not legally binding, that's our 10. And we've clearly solved the debate for the whole world. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, great to see so many of you enjoying the, the show tonight. Some wonderful comments and interaction with the community. Last little act there. If you haven't subscribed to either of these gentlemen, I want you to go and do so. They've been fantastic guests. I'm very grateful to both of you for very generously giving your time and expertise, uh, which is priceless really you can't buy this kind of knowledge i've got jj's channel there go and subscribe great tuesday lives and of course fantastic pre-recorded output and rafi's channel likewise uh, we have some absolutely sensational under the radar type of sense getting uh discussed as well as some things uh that you, you may be more familiar with which is all good and uh, let me just see if i can get the link up for you there i think is your link rabbi rafi sorry rafi duran bass cleft the link is there in the channel hit the subscribe button for both these gentlemen fantastic crowd there we may even do part two because chanel's always good and uh, i guess i'll try, maybe a can kind of for faces who weren't here this week lunchbox right uh, bring it all in the community hopefully see you new gentlemen in the uh the weekend edition which we've got some new themes coming up and some new guests gonna be amazing guys Thank you so much. You are awesome. Thank Community, you. thank you for joining me. We will see you in the next one. Take care, guys. We love you. Bye-bye. Toodaloo.